All right, hold up. I don't want to get spoilers looking at this. <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, how's it going? Welcome back to BFL Games. Welcome back to Yakuza 0. Sorry for the delay today. I've been actually pretty busy this morning. I've been doing a lot. But um, that's actually not why I was late. The reason I was late is because someone uploaded the entire Flash movie to Twitter.com. That's a cool thing about Twitter, about modern Twitter. Elon's Twitter. You can just like pay to like upload pirated stuff on that website now. I think that's pretty cool. So I was uh, watching <laughs> the climax of the Flash movie. It was on a camera. It was so trash. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm like obsessed with this movie in an odd way. I hate it. Morally, I think it's reprehensible. But also, I am a bit obsessed. How's it going, Ark? Uh, not attending today? How's it going, another fox? <laughs> it's also super hot today. It is so hot here. So our main... Only bought a Saturday pass? Okay. Valid. I mean, if you're using your time wisely, that's all you need. So our current mission is go back to work, but there is a sub-story up here. Hold up, I am recording, right? The mod is a big baby. Man, don't call me cisgender. That's a slur. You'll be banned. Okay. I, I, I made the ultimate ultimatum. I added him, called him cis, cisgender, uh, etc. several times. Either if he if he bans me, there's birds in this game. If he bans me, he's a bitch. If he doesn't ban me, he's a lion bitch. Guess he's a lion bitch. Who could have figured that out? New Final Fantasy is kind of good. Uh, people seem to be a bit divided on it, but I think uh, from what I can gather, it seems like a lot of the divisiveness on the New Final Fantasy is because it's very mainstream. This got a huge push. Uh, they really wanted a lot of mainstream eyes on this, so a lot of people who don't typically play JRPGs are hopping into it and being like, wow, that's a lot of cutscenes. This story is confusing. Because they're a new audience that's not used to the storytelling conventions, etc. So, uh, I, from what I'm picking up, it seems to be pretty good. That boy in his ass. That's the fellow who's in a hurry to buy some lip balm. Yeah, he was running. How many hours into it are you, Ark? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Or is it, oh, whoa, whoa? Good. Hey, you down again? Oh. Huh? Hi again. It's my feet. The pain's spreading and worsening. <sighs> Man, didn't I tell you to slow it down and walk? Yeah, you did. But I was in a hurry. I'm sorry, oh, whoa. Sheesh. How chapped were your lips? <laughs> uh, my feet. Good. Hey, you gonna make it? Ugh. <sighs> Only add some medicine with me. Medicine, huh? We'll give him some, some drugs. Some medical marijuana. What am I gonna hand over? We'll give him a stamina and royale. Seven to eight hours in, so you're out of the prologue. <laughs> Here, drink this. It'll help. A tutorial. Pardon? You mean I can have this? Yeah, all yours. Thank you so much. Combat feels terrific. Yeah, that's I mean that's like the resounding praise is the combat is goaded. The pain's fading away. Thank you again. Good to hear. By the way, did you get those chap lips of yours taken care of? So what I'm hearing is that the uh, the combat is like a, a bit of a cross between Devil May Cry and Kingdom Hearts, right? That's what I'm hearing. Did you get those chap lips of yours taken care of? Pardon? My chap lips? I'm sorry, I don't understand. What's not to understand? You were one hauling ass to get lip balm. Were your lips about to fall off or what? Yeah. Oh, I see the misunderstanding. Now, it wasn't for me. I was rushing because the girl I like asked me to get it for her in a hurry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, gotcha. You we were doing your girl a favor earlier. Oh, she's not my girl. Yeah, basically. <laughs> I run errands like that for her all the time. Uh oh. He's being abused. He's being used. Taken advantage of. S I M P. I want you to worship me. 
Mm. Really? And you don't mind being our little errand boy? Who give me this? Run out and get that. Majima hates women. I love it. Very uh, Devil May Cry with a sprinkle of cage. Well, I've never played Devil May Cry. We'll do that one day. <laughs> so many games. One day we'll get to them. Not at all. She really trusts me, so I'm happy to go out and get things for her. Errands are opportunities for me to get her to notice me. Devil May Cry in Nier. Never played Nier. One day. <laughs> I can't shake the feeling that this girl's just using him, but if it floats his boat, I ain't gonna rock it. And because I was so diligent about running errands, she's given me a nickname. When we first met, she just called me by my last name. I'm making headway. I mean, we'll play... I, I'll get into Final Fantasy at some point. Like... It doesn't need to, like, come to Xbox. If it wanted to be played soon, it would come to Xbox, but eventually, you know. That's so. What's she calling you now? She calls me Aaron Kuhn. <laughs> that ain't a nickname to be proud of. Girl's got a sharp sense of humor, and it cuts too deep. Listen, that nickname of yours. You do realize she's turned you into her personal servant, don't you? Mm -hmm. Huh? Is that really how it looks? But even if that were true, I still have a crush on her. That's all well and good, but she's running your feet into the ground. Dude, he's slipping and sliding across the ground. Literally. That medicine's a nice quick fix for now, but I doubt that you're all healed up. Mm. Maybe you're right. I'll try talking to her and see if she gives me permission to stop running errands for a bit. Oh my god. He's not a quitter, I'll give him that. But if she wants anything, I gotta be the one to go out... Who goes out to get it for her. It has to be. Are any of y'all like this dude? Are any of y'all like Aaron Kuhn? Well, I should be going. Thank you so much again. Alright. We gotta find that girl. Aaron Kuhn. I can understand wanting to impress the girl of your dreams, but don't let it turn into a nightmare. I gotta see what this girl looks like if she's got Aaron Kuhn wrapped around her finger like, like so. Where did he go off to? Are we just gonna run into him again later? I guess that's it for now. I guess we'll see him again later, probably. Yep. Alright. Back to the daily grind, I suppose. I'll wait until we get our, uh... Ooh. Ooh. Never mind. He's back. I just saw him spawn in. <laughs> okay. Hey, that's Aaron. Good. Looking down out, down and out dejected. Did his feet get worse on him? You good, hombre? Oh, no. I'm so screwed. Hey, what's wrong? I've seen dumpsters happier than you. What the fuck does that mean? Oh, that voice. Hello again. It's my sneakers. The soles have finally worn through. They do look beat to shit. Beat the crap? Majima would never say that. Mm. Yes. They were my favorite pair. I can't even go buy a new pair like this. I do have- I have a hole in the side of my shoes right now. Do you guys wear holes in the side of your shoe where your pinky toe is? Or is that just me? Interesting, Ark. He needs new shoes, huh? I'd give him some, but I ain't exactly in the habit of carrying a spare pair. What am I gonna do? Don Quixote carries sneakers, if I remember right. Maybe I'll get him a pair if I feel like it. Oh my god. Where the hell is Don fucking Quixote? Okay, it's right down the street. Majima's such a nice guy. Let's, bu let's beat some Bakas up real quick. Time for you to dame die, dame de die. <laughs> Wait, I'm not even the right guy. That's Riku's thing, or not Riku? That's <laughs> what? Uh, that's uh, a <laughs> that's Kiryu's thing. You guys know that Riku's always saying dame de die. Alright, well, that was a pretty clean uh, encounter there. 
Uh, let's let's hit up Bob. You know, we probably have some CP to turn in real quick, anyways. Riku Razama, Riku Riz, Rizku. I'm just gonna stop. Jesus Christ! I have one CP. What the hell? Eh, Noni? Where are the Dame de sneakers? Dame da? It's de da, not de. <laughs> I don't even know the fuck. Oh my god. Welcome to Don Quixote. Give me some damn sneakers, people. Seven up, Mountain Dew. Apparently, they took out the Drip King Rizku. Oh, eh. Apparently, they took out, out the. Uh, the what is it the licensed product placement in pikmin 1 and 2 apparently that's not in the remasters what a tragedy some comfy souls i'll buy him some comfy souls and sneakers even i'll buy two comfy souls in case i want one Arigato gozaimasu. Riku might be the new Drip King. <laughs> okay. Let's see what these comfy souls do for us. You feel great on your feet, but you don't notice anything particularly nice about them. You got the gloves on already. Is this a fleshlight? Calming towel. Not too bad. Or what is up with the telephone? I guess you get CP from telephone cards, right? So it's good to keep a couple on you. I, I, I do want to. I need to start eating at these restaurants to get some CP up. Oh, do you have to enter from the- okay, you can enter from right here. If you clear out a restaurant's, uh, menu, you get some CP. Also, we might make some friends, too, if we- if we, uh, are visiting the same restaurant over and over. Hello, what would you like today? Like, this- this dude is looking like a friend possibility to me. We will take the soup of the day. It is! Dude, how did I call it? <laughs> Acronyms were a mistake? What are you talking about? We're just trying to load up on CP. Was the food to your liking? Yeah, definitely. Thanks. By the way, did someone recommend our restaurant to you? Uh, no, I was just passing by and thought I'd try it. What's up, Alex? <laughs> now that's a surprise. Huh? What's so strange about that? It's just that we don't often get young customers like you, sir. How old is Majima? Nothing about taxes, no. The young generation's all about the quick food craze, no? At least that's what they say on TV. You mean fast food? I indulge sometimes. Didn't know it was some big fad, though. It's not a fad. <laughs> young people always want to try new things, and this fast food is so trendy. My son and all his college friends only eat at fast food places, not proper restaurants. But you didn't come here to listen to an old man complain. I won't bore you with that anymore. Do you mind if I ask you your name? I'm Majima. Well, Majima-san, I hope you come back to visit us again. This could be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Yeah, I'll be back. So the K Komayan chef place. Uh, I don't think that we can eat again immediately. Because we're full. Right? They won't let us eat? I, I don't know how the food meter stuff works in this game. <laughs> exactly. I don't know if it's... Oh, he knows this by name. I don't know if it's by, like, how... Anymore I'm gonna burst. Yeah, I can't. Damn. 
So I guess it's it's done based on a uh, HP. If your HP meter is full, you can't eat potentially. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't I wasn't sure if there was like a hunger meter or if uh, it was HP based. What am I gonna do? Poor guy's shoes gave up the ghost. I got a pair of sneakers on me, but do I give it to him? I love that. <laughs> you keep the sneakers to yourself. <laughs> Just dickhead behavior for no reason. Look at that cool poster back there. The hell jacket too. It almost looks like a... Like a Kiryu m uh, model, right? With the lasers coming out of his eyes and stuff. You gave away a pair of sneakers. Huh? This, dude, that's Jeff in the background. That's that white guy on the Jeff poster. He's there, too, with a white woman. Huh? I can have these? Really? Thank you so much, sir. I'll put them on right now. Hold up. We did just give him the drip. Ayo. Aaron Coon might be the new Riz King. These are the latest style, too, aren't they? Oh, man. Are they cool? I should go for a run in them. It would be a waste not to. Hey, did you forget the whole reason you got into this mess? I think you ought to take it easy, maybe. Oh, that's right. I couldn't contain myself. I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah, getting happy makes you want to run. That's a thing. <laughs> I hear that all the time. I was on the track team in college. Running is in my blood. Well, you're a strong runner, then, I take it. Hi. Yeah, I am. But I've been running too much without taking proper precautions. That's how I ended up hurt. Let me guess, you're still running errands. Yeah, I can't stand the thought of not seeing her happy. Oh, I'm keeping her waiting. I have to go. Thank you so much for the sneakers. He's out of there again. I'm sure we'll see him again soon. Well, at that pace, he'll end up hurting himself again. He will. You, you wanted the... Here, here, let me get you a good look at this. I don't remember how to go to first person. Here, okay. Screenshot that, and then you can do your research arc. I just assumed it was Kiryu because he was making a nasty stank face. Which is what, <laughs> which is what Kiryu does. Alright, back to this dumb motherfucker. I got the comfort soul, comforting souls for him. I think this might be what he needs. Oh, now I'm really screwed. What's wrong? Oh, hello. It's my feet. They're killing me again. I think I can walk again if I rest a while, but... I can't say I didn't warn you, right? Yeah, you did. I'm sorry. Don't tell me you're running errands again. Yeah, I am. I have to deliver this absorbent sheet in a hurry. I'll, I'll do the little delivery for him. What am I gonna do? You gone and made your injury worse, didn't ya? You explained why you're late, she'll understand, won't she? But she said she has plans. If I don't get it to her in a hurry, I might miss her. Dude, you need the Alright, never mind, that's too crass. I'll keep that one to myself. I was gonna comment on why she might need this absorbent sheet. <laughs> I see. Um, maybe if you have time, do you think you could deliver this absorbent sheet to her? <laughs> What? I gotta run an errand so she can wipe her face? I'm sorry, is it too much to ask? The idea of me running an errand's flat out nuts, but I'd like a peek at the girl who's making them do all this. She must be some kind of special. That's what I'm saying, dude. She's gotta be a turbo baddie. She's gonna run errand kun into the ground at this rate. Maybe I can set her straight. Hell yeah. We'll scare her. So where's your sweetheart at? Thank you so much. She's waiting on the footpath along the river. Okay, on the Suttonbury street side. Got it. The river footpath on the Suttonbury street side. Rest up till you're good enough to walk. I will. Thank you. Here's her absorbent sheet. You got an absorbent sheet. Fuck yes. Ah. <laughs> I'm Aaron Coon's errand boy now. On the Suttonbury street side. So there. Well, I'm gonna go the long way because I don't want to accidentally trigger into our cutscene. 
So I'm gonna go the long way over to this bridge over here. Also, I wouldn't mind saving up real quick. And once we get our, uh... No, let me save over the bottom. And once we get our last, uh... Fighting style, I'll sell that plate and ball out. Oh, she's just a napkin lady. Uh-oh. Not back there. Hey, what's up, gay cat? There we go. The Riri Kuribayashi. We're helping the world's biggest simp right now, gay cat. Okay, I can't hold it back anymore, y'all. We're delivering an absorbent sheet through her. Never mind, never mind. Never mind. We're, gi we're giving her an absorbent sheet. Fill in the blanks. Might have to kill these homeless men for existing in my path real quick. Where is it? Where the hell is it? Where is it? <laughs> Do they have it? Oh, there it's on the steps. Right, that one was a little hard to get. Yuki Natsumi. Hmm. Alright, let's see this chick. There she is. Wait, is her head, like, fucked up looking? Or is it just because we're far away and she's not, like, loaded in properly? Uh, let's, like, catch one fish before... <laughs> We pull up, we, we, we reel in a, a nice little flounder, a nice little small mouth bass, and then we help her out. So I'll, I'll give you this story. Last night I introduced everyone to my friend Kim on TikTok. Kim, the, the Gen X mother, mother of a, a trans gay son. Nice woman, a little bit cringe, but nice, very nice lady. She went to a rage room with her, uh, with her son and his boyfriend, and she was breaking shit. Good for her. But then she, uh, she was reminiscing today on TikTok. She said, "What if, uh, do you guys remember food fights? Gen X, we had food fights. One time, I took a slice of pizza and I slapped a woman." A, a girl in the cafeteria with the pizza. Do, do, do kids have food fights anymore? I was like, I had a food fight, Kim. You know, everyone that, you know, participated in the food fight, uh, they went through the surveillance footage, and they... Boom. They suspended them. And she, she, she got a riot out of that one. Lots of laughing, crying emojis, a bit of an LOL moment. LMAO even. I don't know how much how good we're gonna do on fishing here. And then about 30 minutes later, she uploads another TikTok. Oh, big fish. And she added me in it. She added me in the comments. She said, I had a great idea. What if we started a rage room, but instead of being a rage room, it's a food fight room. And she was real proud of him. And I said, that sounds like a great idea, Kim. She hit me with an all caps LMAO. With about seven, maybe eight O's. And about ten laughing, crying emojis. She said, I knew you would appreciate that one, BFL Games. So I'm glad with Kim. She's having great ideas today. Stuck up young woman. Where's Aaron Coon? I told him I needed that absorbent sheet like now. Boy. Sorry to keep you waiting. Excuse me? And who are you? Aaron Kuhn hurt his foot and he can't run on it, so he begged me to get this to you. You handed over the absorbent sheet. Is that right? Well, whatever works. Thanks. But it was high school for us, gay cat, so... It's not like we had recess anyways. Hey, how about a little concern for the guy? It don't bother you at all that he's in pain? Huh? Yo, Emmy, what's the holdup? 
the handsome guy. Oh, Tomo-kun. Sorry, Aaron-kun was kind of slow today. This man here brought what we needed, so we're good. Okay, so the joke that I alluded to and never got out was that she needed an absorbent sheet because a, a Chad was going to make her squirt all over the place. Is that for real what was going on? <sighs> nice, man. I was getting really sweaty, too. Oh. She's a simp for Tomo, and Aaron Kun is a simp for her. So he's asking her to run errands, and then she's putting the errands onto Aaron Kun. <laughs> Anything for you, Tomo Kun. Better whip that Aaron Kun into shape, though. Gotta give him some tough love so he's never late again. No problem. Hey, what the shit? <laughs> Excuse me? Wasn't it you who requested that? Aaron Kuhn thought he was doing it for you, so he busted his balls to get it. Huh? Does it matter? What Tomo Kuhn wants, I want too. We're totally going steady now. Yeah, yeah, Aaron Kuhn's usually good at his job. Quick, courteous, and free. Of course, he doesn't know that we're an item now. These assholes, they don't give a rat's ass about Aaron Kuhn. Doesn't the movie start soon, Tomo Kuhn? We better go. Yeah, come on, babe. Boy. Hey, before you go, I'm gonna need you two to make me a quick promise. Cool. We don't owe you shit, man. What do you want? Aaron Kuhn has run his last errand for you. It stops now. You already got plenty out of him, so no. Let him go and stop toying with his feelings. <sighs> Dude, why would I make a promise like that? A good errand boy is tough to find these days. <laughs> You shouldn't talk so big stick, man. Tomokun could wipe the smirk off your face real easy. Really? Because I wipe my ass with guys like Tomokun. You wipe your ass with other men? Uh? Oh, you want to get it on? Cool, cool. You can be my personal errand boy. Then we'll have two. <laughs> if you went. Yeah, she called me a stick, man. I'm like. Four inches taller than this guy, shredded, wearing a blindfold from my gang violence past. <laughs> In a suit, dapper. If you win, I'll run errands for you all over town, bare ass naked with a property of Tomokun tattoo. You, you're gonna regret talking shit. I hope it's like a one shot. Oh. Oh, that was pretty simple. Oh, damn. The background dude was like, oh my god. How do we want to finish this guy off? Oh, we don't have uh, any weapons equipped? I see. A dagger. Nothing fancy, it's just a, a dagger. Hold up. Let's get that heat up. It did not charge up my heat. What the hell happened? Why is my heat not getting charged up? I wanted to stab him. I wanted to carve his guts off. Out. Good. So, what do you say about making that promise? Or do you need more convincing? I will, I will. Do I have something equipped that prevents it or something? I don't see why I would. I won't ever make him run errands again. I'm sorry. Wait, Tomo-kun, what about the movie? <sighs> well, I managed to get him to stop abusing Aaron Kun's generosity, but do I tell him the truth? Hi. Oh, oh God, here he is. Oh, hey, if it isn't Aaron Kun. You okay to be running again? Hi. Yes, all I needed was a, a little rest was all I needed. Did you get the absorbent sheet to her? Oh. Yeah, I made the drop, but... But... Ooh. I mean, you gotta tell him the truth. You can't just, like, not say anything, or else he's gonna, like, go back to her. <sighs> well, I hate saying this, but that woman actually has a boy- I know! You don't need to say anymore. 
I actually saw her walking around with this handsome looking guy the other day. She looked happy. But I couldn't ask her about him. I was afraid of learning the truth. Aaron Kuhn. Still, it kind of rips your heart out to know for sure. But maybe this is the reality check I needed. I'm not going to run any more errands for her. Good. That's for the best. Of course, who knows what will happen when I fall for the next girl, but that's just the kind of guy I am. Nothing wrong with being the kind of guy a girl can depend on. It's all about res it's all about the respect. If you both have an equal share of it, then nothing can tear you apart. <laughs> Here's hoping the next lady you fall for treats you with the same love and care you got for her. Hi. Yes. I can't thank you enough. You gave me medicine, these sneakers, and you did so much more. Uh, it ain't much in the grand scheme of things. Yeah. No, no, that's simply not true. If I could only repay you for your kindness somehow. Uh-oh. It's gonna be my, my errand boy. <laughs> my needs are met. If there's anything I can do, I'll be happy to do it. For you, I'm willing to run anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> really got a thing for running. Hi. Yeah. If there's anything I can do for you, please don't hesitate uh. to ask. Sure, you got it. I wonder, is he gonna be one of our, like, our servicemen? That we can, like, send out on missions? He'll be waiting for us on the Sotenbori footpath. I mean... Sure, let's take advantage of it. Wear this towel to remain calm at all times. Does that mean never gain any heat arc? Damn. The Sotenbori footpath. Is that Aaron Kuhn? No, that's Majima's apartment. Well, this is the Sotenbori footpath. Here he is. Need you to go hit a lick for me, Aaron Kuhn. Oh, hello. Need me to run any errands for you? How about a little something to fill your stomach? After all you did for me, it's my treat. Sure. <laughs> sure, that'd be good. Hi. Yes, sir. In what scenario would that be ideal? Uh, you want to challenge yourself. I mean, just like Kiryu had a had a book, it was like, enemies will are like ten times harder <laughs> if you're holding this magazine. Sorry to keep you waiting. You got a steamed bun. I'm a little winded, but I'll be happy to run errands for you again as soon as I catch my breath. You can just come to him and like get, a, get free items on occasion, I guess. Not too shabby. Damon and Spark, huh? They're chilling. Yo, so many cards out here. Iori Kogawa. Alright, we're about to... Another one? Dude. Well, I guess Sotenbori is like a smaller area, so it would make sense that the cards are a bit more uh, compact all over the place. What's good, Lavender? How's it going? There we are. Oh my god, did you just see that triple kill? I took everyone out with that one bat swing. He's not like us. I'm him, baby. Who the hell are you? Yuki Natsumi. Did we watch her already? We might have. Honestly. There's more? Dude, these things are everywhere. Where is it? There. Why are these things so frequent, man? Just trying to think of what to do with your day. So valid. The Manasakura. That one's super rare. Let's fight, uh, fight some guys again. And then we'll hit our, uh, another restaurant. I gotta be hitting these restaurants to get some get my CP up. Who's getting gutted? Oh my god, I just slit his throat! <laughs> I like that knife. 
<laughs> Jesus Christ. I was not expecting all that. Uh, alright, alright. We got an update, everybody. At Reloaded Matrix. Um, WTF is that headset? What's that headset? <laughs> I said, what the hell, what does it look like? Do we have trouble with shapes here? Reloaded Matrix has responded. My man has pink reflective cat ears for a headset. Understandable if you're a gay male or female, but if not, why not just get a better headset like SteelSeries or Razors? Link, link in bio to donate so I can buy one. There we go. Which is it, you guys? Am I a gay male or am I a female? <laughs> Sundays are chill days? That's how it should be. Every day should be a chill day. Why not both? You might be spitting. <laughs> Have I ever seen the video Pizza Time about the turtles? Potentially. Sounds vaguely familiar. But usually I hear Pizza Time and I'm thinking, uh... You know what I'm thinking. Do I gotta say it? Alright, do we go ramen or daruma? Uh, let's get us a fried skewer. That sounds pretty good. If that dude donates 60 bucks, you think I'm buying a Razer headset? Hell no, that's going straight towards Nintendo, baby. Any more and I'm gonna burst? When did I even... How did I get HP? I took a hit. I swear I took a hit. I guess not. Alright, alright. Okay, okay. We're gonna save. Did I already save? Look at the schoolgirls here. Alright, save, save, save. Oh my god, payphone substory. Man chatting on a phone. Hello? Oh, hi, how's it going? Yeah, thanks for calling me right away. What's that clunky ass bag he's slinging? You wanted to hear about my shoulder bag phone? Uh huh? No? That's not what you're calling about? Uh huh, uh huh, okay, sorry. Bag phone? That bag actually working as a phone? That's some shit, ain't it? It's the 80s gay cat. Oh, alright, I get it. Well, if you ever want to hear about it, you know who to call. Okay, bye. I, why, why would he want this, though? In Kiryu's story, a guy had just, like, the normal brick cell phone. Yeah, Kiryu's story had just a brick cell phone, so why does this guy have a bag phone? That seems less practical than the brick phone, doesn't it? Man, why doesn't anyone appreciate the awesomeness of bag phones? Is this like a development in cell phone culture that did not take off because it's, it's stupid and not practical? Don't they know how much I had to beg for this thing? A futuristic fail? I think it might might be... Are you just chatting on the phone through that chunky bag you got there? Pardon? What the hell did I just do? I'm sorry, you guys. Give me one second. <laughs> I fucked up my settings so bad for no reason. Alright, there we go. Is it even worth it anymore? Do I just abandon the bit? I'm abandoning the bit. Bit abandoned. Disregard. 
I was gonna zoom in on this guy on the top right corner. It says USA, he's doing a thumbs up and shooting a, a little face. It didn't work. <laughs> Is he all wearing denim? Hmm. Is that denim? I can't tell. The graphics aren't good enough. <laughs> it's pretty wild. Is it some kind of radio then? Oh no, not at all. It's a real phone. It's called a bag phone. A bag phone? Who puts a phone in a bag? Oh, really? You don't know? This is all the rage now. It's a fully transportable mobile telephone made possible through the state-of-art state-of-the-art technology. From now on, people will be able to carry telephones with them all the time. You'll be able to connect with anyone anytime and anywhere. A mobile telephone, huh? Crazy. But what's the point of carrying a phone with you at all times? Didn't a, a dude in Kiryu's campaign had like the chunky brick phone? Why is the bag phone being treated as a marvel here? Unless I suppose it's possible that the Majima and Kiryu campaigns are not taking place simultaneously. I hadn't considered that. What's the point of carrying a phone with you all the time? Ugh, you're not seeing the bigger picture. This bad boy, you're not chained to your home or office. You could even turn a cafe into your workplace. <coughs> that was Kamarocho? Do cell phones pop into existence one city at a time? Makes sense. You could be in touch with your friends and family at all times. I could call up my mom right now if I wanted. Uh, sure. I guess I could see the use in that. I knew you'd see the light. Doesn't it make you want one? <laughs> you should head to the store and get it to ride the wave of the future. Yeah. Yeah, right. I'm guessing that thing costs you an arm and a leg. Riding the future always comes with a tax. Actually, yeah, it's more expensive than I should even say. Look at his disgusting fucking smile. Does this game not take place in 2004? It is 19, I believe, 88. <laughs> <laughs> Rick's warrior. <laughs> Figured as much. I don't see the need. I'll stick to the payphones with the rest of the peasants. Hmm, but weren't you just about to enter a phone booth? Yeah, I was about to make a call. So I see. <laughs> Very well. I shall let you use the cutting edge of technology, my bag phone, to place your call. Whoa, you, you sure about that? Certainly. I want everyone to experience the future today. You need to understand just what a bag phone represents. Aren't I generous? A bag phone, huh? Guy says it's state of the art. Do I want to see what it's all about? Sure. Sure. <laughs> Sora was trolling the Yakuza? What in the hell are you talking about, Gay Cat? Oh, Gay Cat luckily was not here for the the RizQ <laughs> discussion. <laughs> Alright, I know you're excited, but the future's right here, hanging off my shoulder. The first game might be 2004-ish, Rixor, but Yakuza 0 is like a, a, far, a pretty far-off prequel. I don't know when the first game takes place. Here you go, you're about to get a taste of tomorrow. Three minutes away from each other. <laughs> eh? It's not working. Is it dead? I ain't hearing anything. R really? Can I see it for a sec? Gotta charge it up or something. Oh man, the battery must have died. I probably used it all when I took that call from my buddy. The battery's dead? Yeah, the thing about the future is that it really sucks the life out of today's batteries. Does it? Well, how long does it take to recharge? A mere eight hours. That long? You only had the one conversation earlier, and that's all it takes to run it down to empty? That's the price you pay for being on the vanguard of the times. It's always been that way. Technology's beauty is as fleeting and fragile as the cherry blossom. Did I say Rizku? Yeah, he is the new Drip King. 
Right. Sounds like more of a hassle than it's worth. Well, seeing as how your marvel of technology's gone silent, I guess I'll have to pass on your offer. Thanks. Oh, no, 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 let's stop you hasty. Now what? You can't just give up on your chance to cross the frontier of progress. Just because it's out of power doesn't mean we can't get it back. You just told me it'll take eight hours. I ain't got that kind of time, kid. I'd be able to tap my message out in Morse code before that thing came back. Well, it just so happens this thing could also use regular batteries. So, could you buy me a battery for it? Don Quixote they carries them. Dude, we're the real Aaron, boy, Jesus Christ. Call me Aaron Kun. Don't be upset. For the price of a couple batteries, you can get in touch with the future. I do gotta admit that I'm curious. I'm sure you're a busy man, so I'll just wait right here for you. Take your time. By the way, my name's Ido Zuka. I promise, you could use my bag phone as long as you come back with a battery. Alright. I'm Majima. I'll be back when I can. Guess I'm gonna ever buy Don Quixote. Okay, Don Quixote this, Don Quixote that. Every damn day we gotta go to Don Quixote. Oh my god, we gotta go back now. It's down the bridge. Sounds like the Polar Express glasses, kid. Is that supposed to be a joke about me? Didn't we to come to the conclusion? Didn't Gay Cat drop the knowledge? That's also Mandark, and Gay Cat was like, yeah, he assaulted somebody or something? Didn't you say, like, he, like, was publicly nude at a restaurant or something? Oh my god, yo, Reloaded Remix. Redemption arc? Hold up. <laughs> I said link in bio to donate so I could so he could buy one. I said that to be an asshole. He said, but I will if I enjoy your content, which I will watch. Now, do we think that Reloaded Remix is going to enjoy the content? Or do you think he might be filtered by homos? Yeah, man dark. I think it was, uh, it might have been Gay Cat that said he did something, but I don't remember. Man Dark voice actor. Let's see it. Eddie Deason. You know, he looks exactly like he sounds, if I were to be honest. Let's see. Career, voice acting, personal life, health, legal issues. Okay. On September 16th, Dieselman was arrested for allegedly assaulting a police officer after refusing to leave a restaurant in Maryland. According to the Sheriff's Department, he had been asked by the restaurant staff to leave after causing a disturbance and refused to do so, prompting a response from law enforcement. Upon the deputy's arrival, Dieselman hid behind a woman in a booth. So he was like huddling behind a woman in the booth? Trying to hide? Refused multiple orders to exit, and reportedly threw plates, bowls, and food that struck one of the officers. Deason was eventually removed and detained in the county jail to await a court appearance, where you face charges of second-degree assault. A year later, he was arrested after he had unlawfully entered a nursing facility. Two hours before his arrest, he had been told to stay away from the property. He'd been charged with fourth degree burglary, two counts of trespassing, and one count of disturbing the peace. He was uh, admitted to a hospital for mental health purposes, but was released this year. And he has guardians. Okay, so this is actually kind of sad. He keeps busy with podcasts and delivering videos on Cameo, though. Okay, so the dude had some, like, pretty big mental health issues. Dude had some, like, pretty big mental health issues going on. I mean, like, shit happens. He got some help. He seems to be doing okay right now. Unless there's more. An empty controversy section just waiting? Uh-oh. Second degree assault is bad. It said he threw a piece of food that hit a cop. Like, come on. 
a food fight? What, are, are all the hundred kids in my food, or me and Kim going to jail for being in food fights in high school? There's other things that other people have said about working with him, but maybe he's better now. Well, I didn't see that uh, on the, uh, I didn't see that on the wiki. <laughs> just the, we're just keeping up on the on the Mandark voice actor drama, waifu warrior. We keep our our ear to the floor. What was I looking for, by the way? Oh, batteries. I love champagne. We'll buy two. Just on the off chance you might need one for something else. It's all the new reply. Yeah, he said he's going to to tune in. Reloaded Remix says if he enjoys the content, but I don't think that Reloaded Remix is going to enjoy the content all that much. New potential fan Reloaded Remix, if you didn't get filtered, welcome. Maybe we don't need to assume people are gay or women because they're wearing uh, clothing that you ascribe those uh, those characteristics to. We can, yeah, we can change and grow as a person. Fight me. Not, not you, Reloaded Remix. I was talking to the NPCs in the video game. Okay? Let's get that clear. Oh, yeah. Mind you, my son, did you come back with a battery? I got a battery, but do I hand it over? Yes, we do. What did you miss? You can check the Horse Violence YouTube short to get the lore update on Reloaded Remix. <laughs> You really liking Final Fantasy 16? Glad you're liking it. How far are you, waifu warrior? All right. <clears throat> let's let's check. Oh, this dude's about to pass out. What the hell? I'm I'm fine. Please don't mind me. Now is the time for you to experience tomorrow's technology today. <clears throat> hey, what's wrong? It's my shoulder. It hurts. That's what you get for slinging around that brick of a phone all the time. Well, I can't very well put Staley Art technology on their dirty ground, can I? Reloaded Remix? If you if you cash at me 60 bucks, you can be as homophobic in the comment section as you want, dog. Like, I'm selling the pass. Straight up. <laughs> Straight up. Oh, my, sh my shoulder, it hurts. This guy did a real number on his shoulder. Guess I could find something that might help him heal up a bit. Oh my god. We're truly the Aaron Kun. Is the pass on pre-order? <laughs> if I'm being honest, this is a real pain in the ass, but now I'm too damn invested. When you get better, I get to try it for sure. Sound fair? Alright, let's get him a healing drink. We got him. <laughs> Stamina and spark. Wow, the, the max levels? Okay, so that's like the best thing. We actually need some more healing items. We don't have that many. Alright, I guess since we're going over this, I, I was told I was the most embarrassing man that uh, someone had ever seen as well. I think it was also on the horse violence short <laughs> oh wow my shoulder and that was before the sodomy hat dude now he's got to tune in now the moment you've been waiting for finally you could experience like a call on this wonder of the world hey what the hell is that oh, someone's about to smash this shit check this crazy bag out it's got a phone stuck to it um, wait just a moment. Who are you guys? And where are your manners? <laughs> hey, let me take a look at that fancy bag. This isn't just a bag, it's a bag phone. This is why you knuckle-dragging gorillas can't have nice things. Uh -huh. Hey, would you call us asshole? Shut your yuppie mouth. I... <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me it's broken. I'll... Oh, hey, what's your damn problem? Huh? Who the fuck are you? This loser's buddy. 
I guess you could say that. You weren't thinking of waltzing up and taking a crack at that state-of-the-art technology without throwing a couple punches, were ya? You monkeys got no idea how delicate this shit is. And besides, I was first in line. What's this guy mouthing off about? Let's shut him up. Fenboy Vsauce? I've heard Vsauce several times. It's odd. Yeah, now you enforce Cyclops. It's better, I don't know, is, is, is hearing Vsauce better than Vosh? Probably, right? Vsauce, like, has a bit of a soy reputation, I guess, but that's perhaps better than whatever reputation Vosh has going on for him. Who wants the tea kettle? <laughs> Ah, oh, give him the juice. There we go, baby. Boiled to a... Ow! Give me that knife. Oh! It's okay, I got the worn-out knife. Just one second, I want to charge up my heat. Just a little. Got him. Whoa, fancy footwork. So good. I'm their fusion. Hell yeah. Holy shit, this guy's a beast. Sodom and Gomorrah was trending on Twitter? I did not. Sorry we screwed with you. Oh, wait. Sorry we screwed with you. Majibasan, thank you yet again. I don't know how I could ever thank you for all that you've done for me today. <laughs> it's nothing, honestly. I hardly broke a sweat. Now let's see that fancy bag phone. It's about damn time. It wasn't Dorian, but it was still surprising. What? Hey. Not getting a dial tone. Oh my god. <laughs> what? But I made sure it was charged. Maybe when that goofba knock, goofba, <laughs> goofball knocks you on your ass, this thing got a circuit knock loose or something. Oh, maybe. Being at the cutting edge, it is delicately constructed. Oh no, my beautiful bag phone. Well, I guess it just wasn't in the cards for me to use it. That's life for you. No way. This is personal now. Huh? Majiba-san, you heard me out when everyone else mocked me. You were even kind enough to buy me a battery in medicine. I can't let you walk away disappointed after everything that you've done for me. Listen, man. Majima-san, please come to the M-Store and show Fukocho West a little later. I promise you, we'll finally get to make a call in the state-of-the-art experience. Got it. Looking forward to the day. I'll be waiting out front. Is that available now? Nah, it doesn't look like it is yet. Okay, to be continued. Can I save my game now? Jesus Christ, this is what I was trying to do so or so much earlier. There we are. Alright, back to work. Let's see what we got going on today. So last, all right, last main story mission, we poached a girl from the Odyssey. Yes, here you are. Thank you for managing to strike a deal with the Odyssey yesterday. Just doing my job. Now it's up to you guys to keep this place on the upswing. Still, that was quite the surprise to wake up to. Why didn't you tell me the two other girls were coming besides Nozomi? Uh, to what now? Sure, neither one is at Nozomi's level, but they're both veterans on fantastic draws. With any luck, they'll bring all their old regulars straight to us. We gave up some of our girls in the trade, but there's no denying we came out on top here. Last night's negotiations must have been something to behold. Well, I did a fair bit of research beforehand. As long as you get a little dirt under your belt, you can pretty much wing the rest. I'm wondering who these other two girls are. Could it be the girl that we were sitting with? It may be true for you, sir. It's no wonder they call you the Lord of the Night. 
Looks like my little talk with Yamagata went better than I thought. Probably could have stuck it to him even harder, though. Get a few more girls out of him. I guess I could have done more research or given the club a better look to get a few more cards in my hand to play with. No sense worrying about it now, though. Now, if this is a good time, I'd like to work out the new shift schedule. Sure. Trade them like baseball cards? Yeah, well, just a little bit of sex trafficking. Telephone for you, sir. Uh, when I asked who was calling, he just said the owner. I'll handle it. Oh, wait, that was voiced. <laughs> okay. Make sure I'm not blocking anything. Alright, we're good. どういう風の吹き回しや。あいにく。あんたと酒飲むくらいなら自分のションベン飲む方がまだマシ。いやめとけ。あんまりうまいもんじゃねえぞあれは。Has he drank piss before? How's he know? 店は明日の連中に任せとけば一日ぐらいはなんとかなんだろう。俺は明日は公園で待ってる。早く来いよ。おい。I like that little teeth sucking sound. Yeah, Sagawa's cool. Big dickhead. But he wasn't in our flashback, though, so I wonder how he uh, became in charge of our predicament. I can't think about uh, piss drinking without thinking of that one uh, JoJo Part 5 moment. All right, so I guess we're going to the park. I wonder if there's like anything worthwhile to do inside the club. Like there might be some uh, drinks or some uh, telephone cards in here or something. I'd like to take a look around. Even if it's not like super extensive, you're just so damn slow in here, huh? It doesn't seem like there's too much to do. No more shit starting in here. Since uh, we made a big uh, made a big show of that last guy that started something. That was such a cool intro. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's anything to do. Let's bounce. If there's anything to do, the workers will come up to me. Some of the girls are... Floor manager or something. I don't think the game has told me much about Sagawa right now. Patriarch of the Omi Alliance of Sogawa family. He's also the owner of the Grand, we know that. A fact known only to Majima. After Majima's name was wiped from the Toho roster, he was placed in Sagawa's custody, who made him manager. He now holds absolute sway over us, with license to spare or kill him at will. So that's nothing new. Oh, it's nighttime, huh? Some time passed. The park is down there. Oh, okay, that's where uh, where the man with the face was. We'll hit a sub story on the way to it. Uh oh, that guy's getting mugs. I'll just let that happen. I ain't got no business. What is this? Is Oh, it's this bag boy. <laughs> hey, Majima-san, what took ya? What's this music kicking in? Buggings can get you plates? Oh. 
Huh? That bag? My mom bought me a new one! It's my new bag phone! Whoa! And that means... Your patience will finally be rewarded. The future is here. With bag phones, pay phones will pay into obscurity. Majibasan, you said you wanted to give the future a shot, right? Time has finally come. Just dial the number of the person you wanted to talk to. Uh, yeah. I forgot who I wanted to call. What's wrong? Is it actually I forgot who, what I was gonna say? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what? Majibasan, are you feeling alright? You're not gonna faint on me, are you? There's nothing wrong with me. After all that screwing around, how am I supposed to remember? Well, I guess that's kind of my bad, isn't it? Well, if you ever need to use the phone of the future, I'll be here. I'm happy to let you use it any time you want. Assuming that it has a charge, at least. Will do, but man, I gotta say this new texture is fragile. Oh, man. You have to reorganize the living room, or what, waifu warrior? That's the way things always start, isn't it? But this is only the beginning. I bet one day phones will be so light and convenient, everyone will be carrying them. Dude, imagine if I shattered my phone when I did that. <laughs> imagine if I shattered my phone doing that shit. Maybe they'll e even do more than let people talk, too. Wouldn't it be cool if your phone could take pictures? You kidding me? They put a camera on that thing, it'd break your damn back to carry it. Not to mention the film. If that's the price of progress, then I'll pay it gladly. Besides, I could always turn to you for help. <laughs> Give me a break. I'm done with these tech feds. These tech what? Okay, so you could just save on him? <laughs> it's so redundant. Sure, we'll save on this guy. Fuck it. Did I ever tell you- I told you guys about that time that I, uh, I had shattered my phone so bad that it was cutting my thumb to use it. That was a pretty bad one. I, like, sliced my thumb open on the, the shattered glass. <laughs> I'll be right back, by the way. Oh. Oh my goodness, I had the tips, uh, thing minimized. Let me- I don't think anyone- I- I- I'd be very surprised if anyone had done it, but let me check. Dude, if, if Royal Reverie or whatever the hell that dude's name did while I had it off, that would be crazy. I had it minimized because I accidentally was moving stuff around. Okay, no, nobody did. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. You screen protectors? Bro, I did, and it still broke. It was a dangerous break. I'll be right back. I gotta use the restroom. <laughs> your ass from your foot? How about you protect your... Never mind. Back. I think I'm gonna watch. Uh, I think I'm gonna watch Evil Dead Rise tonight. Been building it up in my head, and I, I think I've got enough time tonight. 
So, I'm probably gonna do that. That's gonna be exciting. Good little spooky stuff going on. I did watch more Dr. Pimple Popper last night. Man, it was kind of fucked up. I don't- I think that show might be morally bankrupt and evil. Cause there was like this guy, he was like, yeah, I have all these growths all over my body and cancer runs in the family. Uh oh. Just don't move and maybe he won't notice us. And Dr. Pimple Popper was like, alright. I'm gonna send this off to get looked at to make sure it's not cancer. You can check in at- well, I did just save. Oh, let me spend all my money. They were like, let me- let's see if- if this is cancer. We'll send it in to look at. And then at the end of the episode, it's like, oh, it's not cancer. You're good. It's like, oh, thank you. <laughs> it's like, do, do we really need to dangle that? Do we need to dangle that plotline over my head the whole episode? That felt a bit fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't most of these shows like that? Third style? I, but I want to fight him. And I still have the diamond plate, dude. I still have the diamond plate, Ark. Or is the third style really good? That's why you're freaking out. My controller batteries are low, by the way. Boost Majima's health. Yes! Oh, hell yeah. You missed that Shakedown was directly there? Yeah, hold up. Oh, oh. Wait, if I go in the store, will Shakedown despawn? Because I need to buy some health items. Okay, was I mosh? Health and heat, just a little. That's the best we got here. All right, load me up. One, two, three, seven. That ain't much, but that's what we got. Let's see if we can take them on. I feel like thug style is probably uh, the most optimal, huh? Drug store is where you'd want to go. I mean, that makes sense, but we didn't have that option right then. We had to work with what we had. Anyways, going in there made him despawn, I guess. I kind of want to fight him anyways. How does the encounter finder work? That's him. Up there. Is the drugstore up there? Oh, the drugstore is up there, actually. Okay, so... That dude's not even an item box, though, unfortunately. I, I'm gonna fight him before we, we do a story of a progression. What's good, Fug? So we'll use the item box. We'll use the item box to uh, clear up our inventory because we got like all these diamond plates, like a steam bun and shit, like all this nonsense. <laughs> Hiya! Oh, bow! <laughs> oh my god, the just broke his his ribs. Took him out. How's it going, food? Didn't you mention, uh, what, didn't you mention having something special for dinner last night, or am I making that up? Did I just make that up? I might have. Is this bottomless? Ooh, stamina is good. I keep that. And I'll just put a couple of these in, and then I'll load up on the good shit here at the drugstore. It is down here, right? Yeah, it's right there. And then he's right there. Okay, yeah. Let's go. Does he even do anything against uh, this guy, by the way? What's good, Grey Bagel? How's it going? Does he... 
help you out against uh, Mr. Beatdown or Shakedown? Because if it doesn't, then I'll just... Uh, I'll put on that calming towel. I'm not sure if it's much of a use. You had this whole mental flow chart for using slugger style. I don't... Slugger style is good and like, you know, you're, you're a bit more tanky, but... It can do heat moves from neutral. I think I might be... I, I think thug style for the mobility will be the best for me. Let's just max that out. Thug style from neutral is, is what we're going to rock. And then maybe once I get some heat, I'll switch over to slugger style. I think that that might be a... Oh, wait. Isn't he going to respawn again? Okay, he's just like right here. Let's do it. How much money I got? Okay, just want to make sure I couldn't buy any more upgrades. Is that a computer card? <laughs> computer card. Hey, fight me. I don't think we've encountered him as Majima yet. No, we haven't. Okay. You just run out in and out and bait moves. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Hey, you, you with the eye patch. Eh? Give me your money. What? Are you trying to shake me down? Guess I'm getting too famous around here for my own good. You're famous? Can I get your autograph? Write my name on it, too. Now you yeah, Koahashi. Yeah, I might like the giant man. So you can brag to folks back home you met someone famous you never even heard of? Don't you laugh at me. You don't know who I am either. My crew's 25,000 guys strong, so you better show some respect. Cool story, bro. That really dates the translation on this game, huh? That really dates the translation for this game. Jesus. Okay, but if it were true, your little gang would rival the Toho clan in size. I ain't buying it. I'm not lying. I've got a real reputation back home. Alright, if you say so. Why are you here on your own? <laughs> Alright, bro. Uh, why don't you make me a sandwich? The other 24,990 guys run out of gas on the way. <laughs> I'm a lone wolf, that's all. A lone wolf with 25,000 friends to comfort you when you get a little too lonely. What's with all these questions? I'm just here in town to have some fun, but I need cash for that, you know. One of my favorites? Yeah, because... Never mind. I don't need to insult all the boomers in chat. Y'all keep me company. Y'all make me feel fulfilled. And talk to me. Heh <laughs> 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 well, don't. Why do that when there's plenty of it here? So you're just a kid from the sticks who came to the city for a good time and you're beating folks up for play money, huh? You picked on the wrong city slicker, though. Your little Sotenbori gland circles, circle tour is over. You don't want to give me... You don't want to give me your money without a fight? That's fine by me. All right. All right. Okay. Well. Okay, That's, he's doing a lot of damage to me. We do have a dodge with this. All right, so you can't do a three-piece. We need to save. We, we're died. Oh. Oh. We got a rematch. We got a rematch. Oh, <laughs> I shouldn't have used the baseball mat, man. I wanted to use the thug style. Thanks, loser. Damn it, I busted my ass to turn that money. Why do I care? If you want it back, you're welcome to come back and try the same thing on me. Jesus Christ. Show my friends that shit. My precious moolah. I can't let that slide. Good grief. Where'd this son of a bitch go? I also can uh, equip armor after, uh... Does he despawn, dude? Well, it's a good opportunity to eat up here. <laughs> I'll put the armor on next time I see him. Oh, I don't have any money! Oh, no! <laughs> 
Everything is a damn disaster. All right, we fight these guys. <laughs> oh, look at her, cute dress. There's no one to fight here? Oh my God, did he respawn at least? Okay, he, he did respawn, okay. Let's go get his ass. This big guy has a tiny squeaky voice. Well, you did get to hear him laugh at one point and he was, he was like, <laughs> So that's a bit what I've been doing. Oh my god. I didn't mean to trigger this. I'm all about whatever that smell is. I went in on that. I don't have any money. At least it's pretty popular, ain't it? Yeah, must mean it's good stuff. Who the hell is this middle-aged woman? It's the embodiment of my chat. Hey, excuse me. Whoa! Is she seriously just cut in line? That ain't right. Hey, lady. No cuts. Get in line like a normal person. Huh? You weren't even in the line. Come on, lady. You get your eyes checked lately? I was standing in line right here. I got one more eye than you, Sonny. If anyone ain't seeing anything straight, it's you. Whoa, what a stubborn old hag. Hey, come on. Can't you take this elsewhere? I'm trying to run a business here. See, you went and got us scolded. How embarrassing. If you weren't trying to cut, this never would have happened. Oh, so scary. This old bat's a real pain. What's my move here? I'll move her aside. Yes, her hair is purple. She ain't gonna see reason. Better just relocate her. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Oh, she's gonna cry because I put my hands on her? Well, you cut in line and then you refuse to move. Pervert! This perv's trying to grope me. Oh my god. Oh my god. G grope you? I wouldn't touch you with the cattle prod. Help me! He's a pervert. Ho hold on now. Stop making a damn scene. Mama, what's a pervert? Don't point, Hirokun. You don't want anything to do with this horrible man. <laughs> hey, that ain't true. You're okay and your mama's got the wrong idea. <laughs> Majima's always getting embarrassed in front of children. Ugh, treacherous old dingbat. Wait, what the? Hey, where you think you're going? Man, I'd drop it if I were you. She's a pretty infamous obitarian in these parts. <laughs> Pro down circle. <laughs> obitarian, the hell is that? Ever heard an old lady called an Obasan? Well, she's like that multiplied by a tank battalion. Hence, Obatarian. A battle axe has never been as sharp or as deadly as her. Battle axe? She's just an old lady with terrible taste when you get right down to it. <laughs> Says you. Trust me, you don't want to get involved. Underestimate the Osaka Obatarian at your own peril. This Obatarian, huh? You'll get yours next time, lady. Alright, we'll run into her again. Still don't have money. St oh my. They're everywhere. I can't get away from these people. Hmm. What am I gonna do? Oh, what to do? Y you. Excuse me. Huh? Um, uh, well, well th the thing is. You want something from me, don't you? Let's hear it then. Y yes what I'm trying to say is, uh, um, listen, whatever you're chewing, I can take it. Spit it out. I, I have a favor to ask. C can you please be my boyfriend? <laughs> say what? Am I hearing you right? I said, please be my boyfriend. Please. Pretty please. What? Just like that? Your boyfriend? You mean like you want to be a couple? Go on dates? What the hell? Yes, that's exactly it. I want a boyfriend. That's what a boyfriend does. It would be my one and only. B boyfriend? Right. Okay, back it up a step or six. What the heck's with this little lady here? Just run up to me on the street, the man and I be our man? Every girl I meet these days makes me understand them less and less. I gotta get it together. Can't let her know she got under my skin. I'll give her a strong answer. Like, don't think you've won, little lady. What? 
I'll take that as a proposal. I got no interest in women. Gay Majima Cannon. Hmm. I don't know. Should, should I say I'm not interested in women or, or like, go to the extreme? All right, let, let's get married. Hmm. I got no interest in women. I'm tempted just to see where it goes. Please, gay Majima. Okay. Now, all right. I did see something from Yakuza 5. <laughs> <laughs> the other day, if this gets wildly homophobic incredibly quickly. That's just a, you know, how it goes. Sorry, darling. I got no interest in women. Huh? Oh, okay. I mean, that's not a problem at all. But if you don't mind, could you set aside your preferences and just be my boyfriend for today? What are you talking about, girly? Oh, darn it. I left out a few details, haven't I? Oh, does she want a fake boyfriend for a day or something? Make someone jealous? I should clarify, I guess. I need you to pretend to be my boyfriend, not actually be my boyfriend. Excuse me? Pretend? Hi. Yes. You see, my father's visiting from back home, and he's demanding to meet my boyfriend. Oh, so we play for dad. For several years now, he's been hounding me to meet suitors he's arranged for me. Cannon by Majima? What an icon. <laughs> she said, who cares? Don't, didn't ask. <laughs> um. Yeah, I will say that, like, well, this game was made in, in the 2010s for sure, but I, de I definitely saw something from, uh, Yakuza 5. Like, we're gonna keep going through the Yakuza series. <laughs> um. The game can definitely be like a bit problematic. Apparently there was a re there was a, a remaster or a re-release and uh, the translations were updated. <laughs> but with a series, you know, from from the 2000s, uh, you know, when that kind of stuff comes up, if I'm privy to it, I'll give you guys a bit of a warning. That bit was from 4. Oh, okay. <laughs> it, it was definitely like, okay, we're throwing out some slurs. I, I was a little taken aback. <laughs> I, I would, you know, have fun with it and roll with it, but I, you know, some other people, you know, so different people are, are, you know, more sensitive to that kind of stuff. So. He's been hounding me to meet suitors. Oh, she, wow, so he wants to push her into an arranged marriage. He was getting so persistent that I finally got fed up and told him I already have a boyfriend. There were some bad side quests that needed rewording. Yeah. <laughs> I also told him my boyfriend is thin, wears an eye patch. What? Has a dangerous air about him. She perfectly described me, just like at random. <laughs> a cool ponytail. Our ponytail is pretty cool. Why would you give him so many details? And why'd you just describe me down to the buttons? Or had she seen me? I never thought I'd have to introduce him to my father, so I kind of just made it up as I went. <laughs> but then Dad started saying, I have to see if this boyfriend's worthy of marrying you. So here I am, and I've got a big problem. Okay, I get the picture now. I fit the bill, so you want me to act like I'm your man in front of your dad. <laughs> well, it is kind of gay. I mean, it can be gay and also homophobic. <laughs> Just look at me! Kidding! 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 Uh, wow, you catch on fast. That's pretty much it. If Dad finds out I don't really have a boyfriend, he'll force me into an arranged marriage with some strange man I don't even know. Please, nobody looks anything else like- nobody else looks anything like you. Could you be my boyfriend for just a little by, little while? Okay, okay. I'm never gonna fight Mr. Shakedown. <laughs> this girl's in a pickle, all right. Who'd want to marry some guy they don't even know and end up spending the rest of their life with them? Yeah, arranged marriage sucks, huh? I'm gonna pull up with not a dollar in my pocket. Hey, but I got a cool baseball bat and 30 stamina and royales. Fine, you painted yourself in this corner, but I feel your pain. I'll pretend to be your boyfriend. Yes! So glad I didn't lose hope. Oh, my name's Kokoa. Please call me Coco-chan. Oh, sorry, I didn't catch your name. I'm... Uh, excuse me. I'm Goro Majima. 
I see. Then, Majima-san, I will address you as Goro-chan. Goro-chan? We just met. That's taking things a little fast, don't you think? No, I know it's just pretend, but we are in a romantic relationship. You can't be so formal. We have to make this believable. Um, if you say so. Yes, I do. Well, let's not waste any more time. We should be going, like, right now. Alright, let's go meet Pops. I'm getting exhausted already. And what's this about going? Going where? Come on, try to keep up. We're going to the restaurant where we meet my dad over dinner. The three of us. We're gonna meet over dinner? I got nothing to say to your dad, Coco-chan. Make it so we meet, shake hands, and then let me go, why don't you? Bing, bang, boom. Oh, no, that won't work at all. Dad won't be reassured unless I show him what kind of man my boyfriend is. We have to go now, Goro-chan. Get a move on. Damn. I don't know what I was expecting. You see that dude? That... You see that guy back there? There's a... a... There's a clown man. Is that a animatronic, or is it someone pretending to be an animatronic? I don't know. Here we are. Here we are. Let's do it. Let's go meet Pops over dinner. <laughs> I was expecting it to be a fancy place. So, Gorochan, this is where we'll meet my father. I only have two requests. Please don't reveal that you're just pretending to be my boyfriend, and don't anger him. You got it. Well, what's all this about making him angry? Dad get pissed off that easily? No, he's just stubborn. He's not scary, though. He seems to think I'm not the sharpest tool in this shed. Hey now, you're an all-star. Get your game on. Go play. And he babies me more than he should, but underneath it all, he's just as good as a father I could ask for. Well, I suppose it's tough to blame the guy. If I had a daughter like you, I'd be pretty worried, too. You see, if you start saying a bunch of weird stuff, he'll blow his lid and be all like, Forget this guy, I'll arrange your next date. So, let's avoid that. No problemo. So, let's go over my boyfriend's backstory. Okay, we gotta, we gotta memorize this shit. Excuse me, I need a backstory? We've been going out for six months. You're a dentist who likes going out on dives, drives and watching movies. Your favorite food is omu rice, okay? What was all that now? Alright, so we're a dentist who goes on drives and movies and eat omu rice. I had to give my dad some details about my boyfriend, so I made stuff up. If he gets curious, you can make sure you've got it memorized. Got it memorized? Well, you ain't exactly making this a walk in the park. How am I supposed to remember all this? Fine, from the top. We've been going out for six months. You're a dentist. You like going out on drives and watching movies. And you love Omu Rice, okay? Ugh. I'll give it my best shot. Obviously, we're going for a... Uh... We're going for a... Uh... The funniest possible example here. There he is, Dad, over here. So, this is Coco John's dad. Unlike his space case of a daughter, he seems pretty buttoned up. He looks like a nice man. Orochan, this is my father. Yeah, and this one, which came out after the remake, there's an Okama bar, and it's like, they don't even, like, talk about it. It's just the Okama bar. You're just, like, hanging out. You're just, like, vibing, you know? Hello, I'm Kokoa's father. Nice to meet you. Is it Kokoa or Coco? And this is the man I'm seeing, Goro Majima-san. You know, now that I think about it, meeting a girl's dad for the first time is super, super important for a normal couple. This could end up making an impact on the rest of her life. I better buckle down and get in this role properly. No different than at the Grand, right? Cocoa? Yeah, I'm not gonna pretend to understand, uh translation tactics <laughs> but it's, it was more than the word in uh that particular sub story uh in yakuza 4 from what i saw it just seemed like you know 
yeah, we're using a, a term that is generally uh, perceived as offensive, but also everything else going on. <laughs> it's, everything else going on in that sub story was pretty bad. Uh oh, controller died. All right, we're just gonna plug it in. Again, I'm I'm like not totally up with the context. I just saw it. I was like, oh, <laughs> uh oh, we got we got lots of queer people. It was like when did Yakuza Four come out? Let me Google. Yakuza for release date. It was the 2010 game. Uh, you know, translated by uh for a niche American weeaboo audience. I think you can get the gen general image of how that was handled, right? <laughs> Pleased to meet you, sir. I'm delighted to meet you, father. Please make me miso, miso soup every morning. I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll ask for... Uh, the father just comes on strong and might piss him off. I, miso soup? That might even get a chuckle out of him. Father of Coco-chan? Please make me miso soup every morning. Uh, is that a marriage proposal, Gorokun? And why was it directed at me? Actually, that's a good point. Right, Kokoa san please make me miso soup every morning. <laughs> huh? Well, I'm glad you're asking the right person, I guess, but is now really the right time for this? What an odd fellow. Still, my Kokoa is a few screws short herself. Jesus, dude. A man like you might actually be a pretty good fit for her. Hey, yo, he likes it. My dumb bitch daughter needs a dumb bitch man. Dad, don't call me dumb, especially not in front of my boyfriend. Well, that seemed to go well. At least her dad thinks I'm the amusing type. Majima-kun, I must say I am surprised. You really do exist. I beg your pardon? Well, my daughter prescribed you as a man who is tall, yet slender-waisted. Sports an eye patch, has long hair tied back, and emits a deadly aura, not unlike a dagger's edge. I never imagined such a man could actually exist, yet here you are, in the flesh. See, Dad? I told you I wasn't lying. My boyfriend's right here in front of you. Yeah, I figured he was another figment of your overactive imagination, my dumb bitch daughter, so I'm really quite shocked. Huh? Overactive imagination? Dad, I don't make things up that often, do I? <laughs> Guy likes the soup, but soup. Well, they do seem to be on good terms, and her dad's a decent guy, too. Stern, but decent. He only insults women. <laughs> he just demeans the, the only women woman present. He just demeans her intelligence. <laughs> okay, what a nice guy. Oh, yes, yeah, Majima-kun. Kokoa may have mentioned it already, but what line of work are you in? They were both laughing, it's fine. <laughs> Officer. No, never mind. I'm, I'm not going... Never mind. My job, huh? Oh man, I think Cocoa mentioned the backstory she gave me. I'm a dentist. Yeah, none of this is funny enough to deviate. So, uh, we're a dentist. I'm a dentist. Oh, yes, yes, that's right. I had heard you. You're a dentist. I never would have guessed from your appearance... Not the face I'd expect from a dentist at all, to be frank. I get told that often, yeah. Oh, Dad, you're being so rude to my Korochan. Ugh. Just glad I remembered what Korochan told me in that hack job of the backstory. Incidentally, Majima-kun. Yes? I was wondering, how did you come to meet Kokoro-chan? Well, that's, uh... I didn't ask you. I asked Majima-kun. Don't speak over the man at the table, Kokoa. But, but, tell me, Majimokun, how did the two of you get to know each other? Uh, this was not... Yeah, this was not part of our, uh, our thing, huh? Sat next to each other at a movie. She ran into me while eating toast. What an anime moment. Uh, I like movies. And drives. We happened to sit next to each other at a movie theater. That's how we met. At a movie? Come to think of it, Kokoa did mention that you enjoy movies. Yes, like I said, Kokoa-chan just happened to sit next to me. Flick was a real tearjerker, so I offered her my handkerchief, and the rest is history. 
Yes, that's how it went. Amazing, Gorochan. I can't believe you came up with... I, I, I mean, I can't... I, I, I remember it like it was 15 minutes ago. It was so romantic. <laughs> no soup option. This is not a soup-like game. Well, what a fortuitous meeting, then. I'm just glad she didn't meet her boyfriend in any places she shouldn't be. Of course not. My Gorochan's a proper and decent man. There. I wove in Koko-chan's backstory and came up with a tale that rings true. Majima kun I'm gonna put it to you straight. What is it about my daughter that you find attractive? <laughs> alright, alright, let's go, let's go. Give me the You're still so innocent, like a child. Keeps me awake at night, thinking about whether or not you'll ever manage to live and prosper... Live a proper and prosperous family life. If there's a man who would love you and treat you well, I would give you my blessing for a marriage right this instant. Dad. Uh. That's why I need to ask, Majima kun What about it, her, do you find attractive? <laughs> She's childlike. Oh no! <laughs> She's so cute. She's so childlike. Don't do that emoji arc. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do Majima that way. I'm tempted though. What's wrong with that? I think saying that you're you find your your partner uh very childlike is nothing in you know, it's not a sin, but I I do think it is weird <laughs> that that would be what you find attractive about them. They remind me of a child, you know? I, I think that is an odd thing to uh, find attractive, <laughs> generally. We'll go with the Omu rice. I fell in love with how great the Omu rice she makes is. Oh, I must agree with you there. Her Omu rice has a special quality to it. I love it too. But Majima kun, if that's all you see in my daughter, oh shit. I don't want to give her away to you. If it's delicious omu rice that you want, you could just as easily marry a cook. Fuck. Dad. Damn it. Tapping into Coco Chan's backstory fired. From her dad's POV, you want a guy who appreciates her daughter fully, not just for her cooking. Weird innocent and childlike is the correct answer? What? That is odd. <laughs> And as for purity, that's like a whole can of worms, Rixor. That's like a whole sociological discussion that I don't feel particularly uh, interested in having right now. Would you two excuse me? I need to go wash up. Uh, sure, honey. Don't fall in. <laughs> Why you do Majima that way? They're doing her father that way. Alicia's not like freaking Kiryu, man. Every five seconds, Kiryu was getting into a sexual situation with the child. Man couldn't help himself. Wait a sec. With her powder in her nose, it's down to just me and her old man. Damn. Awkward. Majima kun? Y yeah? I have no idea who you really are, but thank you for playing along with my daughter's lie. Huh? Her lie? Hmm. What lie? Poor Kiryu. <laughs> Officer, please, it's not how it looks. She was just talking about her pocket circuit piece. <laughs> I got no idea what you mean. What lie? <laughs> you can stop pretending. I knew this was all an act from the moment I sat down. Was it that obvious? If you knew from the start, what gave us away? I could tell just by the way my daughter was acting. I wasn't her father all these years for nothing. Why'd you go along with the dumb charade for so long? Hmm. Okoa was so desperate to convince me. It's my fault she tried to stunt like this, isn't it? I'm sure it's because I kept pushing her into dates with all those suitors I'd arranged for her. You know your daughter well. You saw right through her. I lost my wife when Kokoa was still- Don't cue the music! Cue the emotional music! I lost my wife when Kakoa was still an infant. I raised her alone, without anyone else's help. 
I tried to raise her well, so no one would look down on her for not having a mother. But I know I've been overly protective of her. Holy shit. Did you guys just notice that? Watch his mouth when the text box is moving. His mouth is synced up to the da, 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 sound. Watch. Is it has it been like that the whole game? Their mouths are synced up to the text box like typing sound effect. Has it been that way the whole game? And I'm just now noticing. Look, it is. <laughs> the 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 so. <laughs> I just noticed that randomly. That shit blew my mind a little bit. Holy crap! Uh, anyways, I know I've been overly protective of her. I can see now that she's capable of standing her own on her own two feet. I gotta stop telling my daughter to do this or that. No more pushing her to meet potential suitors. Synced up to the words? <laughs> Synced up to the text typing sound, dude. Sans Undertale. And all I need is a bit of a Patrick Star voice sample. And we're in business. She's her own woman. It's time to time I learned to let go. <laughs> that, dude, now I can't not look at their mouths every time. It's so funny. But the truth is, I, it's because I've been looking at the subtitles, like, every time anyone talks. <laughs> the truth is, there's another reason I went along with your little charade. What's that? Someday, my daughter's gonna bring a real boyfriend to meet me. Uh, everyone, be sure to watch Nathan Fielder's The Rehearsal. I thought this might be good practice. Practice, huh? Thanks to you, I got a good idea of what to expect. When the time comes, I think I'll manage. Bah. Still ain't a good feeling to spend so much time lying to someone who knew it from the start. But I gotta tell you, I think an arranged marriage wasn't the only reason she pulled this stunt. What do you mean? I think she was trying to show you that you don't need to worry about her so much. Worry? Yeah. Pretty plain to see that she's the source of a bundle of your own worries. She's the source of a bundle of your worries. I think she wanted to reassure you that she's capable of looking after herself. She wanted to prove to you that she can manage her own affairs, like getting married. She's back. Sorry, I'm back. I hope that wasn't too awkward for you guys. Did you even break the silence? Welcome back, Koka-chan. Yeah. Listen, your dad actually knew. Majima-kun? Uh, yeah? Kokoa? You've done well finding this man. I had nothing to worry about after all. Dad. <laughs> I know, right? Kurochan's a super guy. So this means you'll stop trying to set me up, right? Yes. I can see there's no longer any need. Really? Awesome. It's been an awfully long day. I'm heading back to my hotel. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll walk you back, Dad. Alright, awesome. And now we both fly. Well, I mean... Um... Does she even deserve to know the truth? Gurochan, thank you so much for being my boyfriend today. Gurochan, I think you did an excellent job pretending. Heh, <laughs> glad to hear it. I wanted to give you this, thank you. Five pieces of fluorite. Wow. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Whatever the case, I think I'm free from dad hounding me to meet his suitors. What a relief. That's good. Yes, well, I have to walk my dad back to his hotel. Yep, when you get a real boyfriend, you better do a proper intro so he doesn't have to worry about you. I'll try. Bye now. That was cute. Kokoa, I forgot something. Give me just a moment. Oh, okay. Is he gonna give us a something, something better than fucking fluorite? Majima kun, there's one last thing I need to say. Eh? What's that? Majima kun, I'm glad I got to talk to you. You went through all the bother pretending to be my daughter's boyfriend just for my sake. You're a good man. <laughs> eh. I was trying to put one past you. Don't give me too much credit, now. No, no. 
Not at all, that's why. I'd like it if you would be my daughter's real boyfriend. Uh-oh. <laughs> Excuse me? What'd you say? I said, won't you please ask my daughter out for real? Consider it for just a moment, please. What in the fresh hell makes you think that's a good idea? Because you're the ideal man. I think I can safely entrust her future to you. Whoa, slow down. I'm having trouble believing my ears. You could start by just pretending. That's fine. Heck, if she won't take you, I will. What? <laughs> did you just say what I think you did? Yeah, Dad, what's all this about? Give me a break, you two. <laughs> this is why I'm single. <laughs> Gay people real? <laughs> See ya, Ariel. My god. <laughs> this has got to be a side quest. He looks too unique. No? Oh, he's an actual animatronic. I thought it was a guy. Well, that was fun. And I know it is a crafting material. It's just I don't particularly care to interface with the crafting mechanics that much in this game. And also, uh... God, what is this? Do I do I go to it? Oh, it's that fucking old lady again. Yeah, I'll go to it. Um, I I just prefer the way that uh, like, I I very much like the rewards for uh for Kiryu's campaign. It's like you get a pair of shoes. Like, you know, it felt cool. Where it's like this, like oh, you get fucking like fluorite and a bundle of lumber. It's like. It feels less like something someone would actually give you, you know? Here's that wonderful smell again. I'm, come to think of it, I didn't actually get anything to eat last time. Now's my chance. I still don't have any money. This fucking woman. Hey, excuse me. Ugh. Oh, the Obatarian strikes again. Well, hello again, I patch fella. You gotta queue up. I'm the end of the line. Huh? Get real. I ain't letting you pull the same stunt again. What? You gonna cop another feel? I don't come cheap. Yeah, all right. They couldn't pay me enough. I hate having to repeat myself, but cutting in line is bad form. Get behind me. You just noticed her shirt? She on her Tiger Queen shit. Oh my god. She's got a cheetah friend. <laughs> If you get them all right, they give you a belt. The crafting mats are just consolation prizes. Oh, uh, okay, okay. I also don't really care about that too much. I just want like the funniest options, you know? The funniest gameplay experience. That's what matters most to me. Oh, Michiko-san. Isn't this place so testy? Sure. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Should I assault the old women? Sure. Grope them again. Whoa, so you are trying to cop a few. Is he now? Well, there's no denying you're one sexy beast, Etsuko san. <laughs> oh, Michiko san, don't encourage him. He'll pop in his pants. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, keep living in this fantasy you dreamed up. Who'd want to get in on some crusty old beef jerky like you? Huh? Oh, yeah, calling jerky. This here's nothing but top sirloin. That's close, Sean. Your dignity's at stake here. <laughs> oh, God. Gay cat. What do you mean you can't handle this? They just dropped that steak pun for you, gay cat? Like that didn't reel you back in. Hey, that wasn't even funny, you two. What's that now, eyepatch fella? You want to join us? This is your big opportunity. You're the spitting image of Esco San's husband back when he was fine prime rib. Yeah, my husband used to be a pretty choice cut. Honestly, it would be pretty fun to hang with these two. I'm not gonna lie. <sighs> Think your short loin can measure up to his T-bone, Sonny? <laughs> <sighs> Screw this. I'm outnumbered and outgunned. <laughs> no, no. Hold it, fella. What now? Suck on this. You got a candy. Hey, yo. To the item box. What the hell? You think this makes it all better? What am I, five? 
Oh, pop that in your mouth and shut your trap. That's Kosan's candy is famous around here for being super sweet. Anything I can say is gonna get turned right back at me. Time to cut my losses and bail. <laughs> What's even the point of this quest? It's just several random interactions of those two. It's fun, don't get me wrong. It's just... <laughs> Alright, let's go back for more. Let's go back for more. <laughs> Yo, was she talking to a man? Help! Pervert! There's a pervert here! Oh, it's an actual pervert, I bet? She's gonna fuck with the wrong guy. You old shitbag! Who are you calling a pervert? <laughs> he fell right into her trap. Oh? You dumb hag! Now you're really gonna get it! Whoa, he's crossing the line. Ew! Nobody gets cute with the Yakuza, bitch. Suck on this. Yeah. What? Who the fuck are you? The, the eye patch fella. Hey, I know this old lady's a real pain in the ass, but that don't give you the right to pull a blade on a civilian. Uh. Huh? Hey, buddy. I know how you feel. I really do. I got accused of being a perv too. <laughs> but it ain't worth it. Trust me. Let sleeping dogs lie. I like that game. Sleeping dogs? <laughs> You're no match for the Ovatarian. Hell, I ain't either. You trying to tell me what to do? You mosey up to me and tell me I'm no match for some old hag? You don't know shit, friend. The two of you can share a grave. Let's get him. Street ruffian. Ruffian thugs. Poison Ivy Quicksand. Oh, I missed. I missed my grab. Ouch! Oh, damn. Yoto <laughs> Mate. Why did I say that? <laughs> Just beat on him. <laughs> there we go. Let's take him out. What does Joto Mate even mean? I don't even remember. <laughs> Alright, nice. Now we got the Obatarian respect. You ain't bad. Praise is cheap coming from a chump. Now get lost. He's out of there. Yeah. Justice for jerky. You're the bee's knees, eye patch fella. Bah. Ended up coming to your rescue without even meaning to. Kinda hate myself now. Wow. On closer inspection, you're a fine piece of work. Uh-oh. Just like my husband when he was still kind of grabby. My heart's really pounding. Whoa, whoa, dial it down. You're creeping me out, lady. <laughs> no need for any feminine wiles. I've been seeing too many of those, like, TikTok slideshows with, like, the, the, the like weeaboo thing like w the origin of like uh the origin of the the hefty bowl of miso pork ramen and make it segoy like one of those slideshows of just like the weebiest like i po like post ironic weeb shit it's like actually infecting my brain in a a cringy manner no not amvs whoa whoa dial it down you're creeping me out lady no need for any feminine wiles Oh, but I gotta repay you to set things right. <laughs> Keep your candy, lady. I don't need the sugar high. Oh, I had something in mind much sweeter than candy. Huh? Come to granny! Oh my god. You fine, handsome devil. She, she's looking like, uh, what's a what's this fucking Hades from Kingdom Hearts, man. Whoa! Uh, <laughs> she's too strong! I can't hold her off. We're being sexually assaulted. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, well, uh, <laughs> Pop the cork too early, sweetie. Nothing to be ashamed of. It's been a while for me, too. <laughs> Woohoo! Get a room, you two. <laughs> oh, please, don't tease. The guy at the counter was right. The only thing to be gained from getting involved with an obatarian is misery. The toughest creature under the sun ain't a pro fighter, and it ain't a Yakuza. It's the Osaka Nobatarian. <laughs> okay. It's a 
pretty fun. Pretty fun sub story. <laughs> hey, there's my guy, exactly who I've been looking for. There he is. Hold up. Let's uh, make sure we're we're right here. Take that off in favor of. I guess the Traveler's Amulet. It's not super strong, but it's something. Here we are. Hey, buddy. I'm flat broke again. Yep, let's fight. <laughs> Pretty good start. Yo, big damage, too. No rip, Majima. Look at me. I just collected 600k. Hit him while he's down. Come on, do something, dude. Slow and steady. Oh, bad, bad, bad. <laughs> okay, we're, we're good, we're good. Not good. <laughs> that was bad. Oh! Goaded! Alright, alright. It was worth it to get that damage off, though. Maybe. Okay, we just need to heal. Alright. Alright, alright, heal. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh-oh. Alright, there we are, there we are. I think we got him, you guys. We got him down to half. Oh no. Oh good Dude, that was goaded. Oh wait, we got enough juice. Dude, he's so <laughs> Does he have the sauce? He might. Get a couple stomps while he's down. Get some quick heat. Bakugan. a little jab. Oh, okay, that one was a pretty big one. <laughs> that was a big hit. That was a big hit. We're up, we're up, we're up. We're all good, we're all good. He's almost done. Oh, damn, 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 damn. That's not okay. All right, we're, we're going to heal. Health and heat a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't need a ton. Oh, I'll range him with this. One hit. Oh, get him with the jab and the spine, dude. Spine jab sent him down. Whew. Thanks for the CP, amigo. Wow, I didn't expect that. Wow, I didn't expect that. You're pretty good. No shit, Sherlock. Better be more careful when you pick your victim next huh? time. Huh? I guess you didn't notice I was holding back this time. Uh-oh. Do they get stronger every time, I guess? You'd be dead if I hadn't. As if. I'm so sure. Seriously. If you die, I can't shake you down again later. I have to make sure I keep you alive. Yeah? Don't hold back next time. <gasps> we'll see if the results are any different. Well, I'm done for today. I can't get my money, so there's no point hanging around here. I'm going home. Very nice. He's a dumbass, but strong. Gotta be on my toes in case I bump into him again. That is our first Mr. Shakedown uh, dub, by the way. We never beat him as... Uh, Kiryu. That dude's drunk as hell. So that was a pretty big dub for us. Let's go ahead and spend that money. Oh, no, I'll save it. I'll save it for when we get uh, we get our next, next type. He gets more HP, but it's just the same. Nice. Uh, a couple new moves? Okay. We'll manage. Get the fuck out of my way. Look at the map. Alright, just hit that bridge and go down. The goal was to finish up with Majima today. What is happening here? See, I got something wrapped around his ass. Oh, it's his bag clipping through his body. <laughs> okay. 
But, um... Yeah, the goal today was to wrap up the Majima chapters here and get back to Kiryu. We'll see if that happens. Seaman... Ah, oh, come on. Maybe not so likely. Hit him with a jab. Ooh, ooh. Choke him out. <laughs> Been a minute since we got one of these off. <laughs> oh, I was gonna stomp you. Oh, wow, a one, two? You're not him. He's got fear. Look how scared he is. You were right to be scared. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> like, sorry, dude. Likes and likes. He's putting his finger in his butt. Reehehehe. <laughs> Ringerin my rut. Does anyone know the video I'm referencing? Or do I just sound... This motherfucker again? <sighs> Shh. Fuck it, man. Why not? We could run... Th Dude, that was actually kind of easy. We could run that again, no problem. Strike at the enemy while running. I don't know. I don't feel the need to try. Unleash a surprising attack when switching to the lugger, slugger style. Oh. Slugger surprise. A little hard to maneuver this. Pulverize an enemy carrying a weapon, then take the weapon from them. Oh, wow, that's actually really good. Weapon grab, the essence of the thug. That's super dope. Yeah, I can't afford nothing else. All right, let's try it again. Wait, wait this is a different one. The other one was a red shirt guy with hair. Hey, you. This is me. This is bald boy. My name's Oe. Oh, okay. So what do you want, Oe-san? I don't like your tone. Or your face. The hell's your problem, asshole? Whoa, what's this sudden aggression? Buddy, take a step back and a chill pill, or you're the one getting hurt. You threatening me? You'll pay for this, and I mean it literally. Fork over your wallet or else. Just what we needed in this town. Another shakedown shit lord. What? You think you're tough or something? Let's see how you like getting beaten to a pulp. Fine, I'll show you what a big mistake you made picking a fight with me. That's it. No, no, no. <laughs> oh. Oh, he's getting out quick. Oh, he's got mobility. So do I, bro. Oh, I accidentally did the thing. Oh! There we go. Dude, once you get into a a rhythm, these guys really ain't that bad at all. It don't gotta be pretty if it works. Dude, dude, I was able to gener generate enough heat while he was on the ground just by kicking him to get that move off. That was crazy. Alright, go into super mode then. Alright, hold up. I'm a pussy, I'm a pussy. Okay, okay. This is a good call. <laughs> Get off of me! Ha! I missed. <laughs> Get off! <laughs> Kick him right in the dick. <laughs> Two different shakedown fellas? Okay. Nice. Damn you, my money. You took my money. Damn it. What's gotten into you? Didn't think you'd make such a big stink about it. Yeah, they're way less intimidating. They're just big tanky boys. Mind your own business. It's back to square one for me, but I'll get my money back from you and then some.
Being like, no idea what this guy's deal is, but he's no common street thug. I better watch out for him. Knowing what you're, uh, we're up to 13 million, so we need like 1.1 more million before we can, uh, start getting some of those more expensive upgrades. Yeah, once you're, you're like, more intimately familiar with your heat moves and how to trigger them, that guy's like no problem at all. You just gotta know what you're doing. Who would have thought, huh? Intimacy with the game leads to being good. Ignore me. <laughs> Got my nose on me. Hell yeah. Alright. What's good, Mr. Sagawa? Get some story in. Now that we know what Majima's been through, man. Oh. I really like Sagawa's face. Like Sagawa looks like someone you could know, which like makes him, and he he like almost he seems more normal, uh, before he let that facade drop, right? Which makes him much more intimidating. Than like these like Saturday morning like cartoon character stereotypes that re uh, Kiryu is dealing with. Those guys are super dope, but this guy feels more real, which makes him feel a bit more menacing, right? It's almost like in Kiryu's story, everyone else is the cartoon character, whereas in Majima's story, Majima almost feels like the cartoon character, huh? He looks like he's judging you the instant you're at, you I set eyes on him. Yeah, I think the ears are a big part too. His ears sticking out, they make him, they give him a bit more of a silhouette. Huh? Hey. Money's made up. That shit ain't real. <laughs> oh. Man, these cinematics are so good. They really are like movie tier, the pacing and the framing and shit. <laughs> I I also enjoy the juxtaposition between the two. Like Kiryu is like you know, a good guy who's just trying to set things right and he's found himself himself in this situation where he's a rebel. And like fighting against everyone. Whereas like Majima's like, you know Let me pause a little bit. Majima's like a you know a criminal at heart. He wants back in the game. That's what he loves. That's what he wants to do. He wants to fight and do all this shit, but he's found himself in this situation where he can't rebel. He can't step out of line at all. So it's cool how like it's it's interesting. I really like uh even though they haven't interacted at all. Um, their characters are still, a as they are now, playing off of each other in an interesting manner. Good stuff, man. See ya, Waifu Warrior. Thanks for hanging, dog. <laughs> 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 
極道の世界で親に逆らったやつは必ず相応の報いを受けるもんだ波紋絶縁その辺ならまだいいがひでえ時には人知れず殴り殺しにされることもある Q was able to just walk, man. お前は穴ぐらい切っていうその最悪のケースを踏んじまったはずなんだ Right, flashback. <laughs> We got put in the damn hole. A whole year of torture. Damn. And they're the ones that took my eye, right? Right. そして大門違いの兄弟分である俺にお前を預け、仇として飼うように指示をした。武闘派と呼ばれる島野がなんでそんなに周りくどいことをしているのか。シマノが his eye? やつの目的は一体何だろうな。I thought so. I just wanted to make sure. さあ、俺が聞きたいくらい。<笑>案外理由は単純で。ただ単にお前のケツの味が忘れられないだけなのかもしれねえな。Metaphorically, I assume?Not literally? つまんねえやつだ<笑><笑>そうだ。一つお前に聞いてみたかったんだ。なんでお前、そんなに登場会に戻りてんだお前みたいな跳ね返りが、こんなバスに耐え続けてまで。サイジマタイガーだっけかお前が登場会にいた時の兄弟分だっけそいつのためって言ってたよな。あ、oh, so was he not our literal brother? 十八人殺しのサイジマタイガーか。当時は大騒ぎに he, he was like a pretty big guy. I thought it was like kind of. Yeah, that was a, he was a crazy guy. 安心襲撃結果相手組員18人を射殺したんだからよ。登場界のイケル伝説。Wait, he's a living legend? こっちでも随分話題になった。けどそのサイジマも今やもう。Okay, okay, prison。18人もやったんだ。あとは死刑判決を待つだけだろ。なのにお前はそいつのために登場界への復帰を望んでいる。そこがわかんねえんだ。兄弟は兵の中で死ぬようなたまやないあいつは必ず戻ってくる俺を殺しにな Damn. 殺しにあなんでもないもう過去の話や What? とにかく俺はどんな目に遭おうがどんな屈辱に遭おうが登場会でのし上がらなあかんねえほうなるほどねそうやって帰ってくるはずもない兄弟分の帰りを待ち続けてるってわけか。That's another interesting thing. Like, Kiryu and Majima both got someone behind bars, too. <laughs> 泣ける話じゃねえか。<laughs> あんたには関係あらへん。まあ、俺も大門違いとは。I'm really, man, I'm, I'm really curious more than anything to see what happens with the.、Uh... Majima. Alright, what is, what is it, you motherfucker? <laughs> Give it to me straight. We already had this talk. And I thought it, that's why I thought it was so surprising that Majima was like. So, like, odd about this, considering, like, what he did to get him put in the hole. けどさ、もし俺がオデッセイに連絡すりゃその話
What a fucker. What a dickhead, man. God, I can't wait until we get some kind of comeuppance on this guy. Hopefully, hopefully that happens. Makoto Makimura. Oh, damn. A pimp? Makimura was Sokora no Joshida, say Arawaka on now Skamaita Kasemasete, Sono Agario Sianeta. Who would put girls to work and, and profit off of it? Who would do such a thing? <laughs> oh, shit. He's a hundred percent lying. Sore or Shiraver no Moshigoto no Chida Makimura on Natachi Terekura de Otoko Trasater. I feel like he's lying and trying to get us to kill a good person. Terekura de Makimura no Iki no Kakata on no Sangasu Chikoto. Two days to kill this guy, huh? Hmm. Hmm.そら楽しみだな。殺しの方法はお前に任せる。仕事を得たら、この番号へかけろ。わかった。<laughs> Can I use bag phone boy's phone to make that call? Hmm. Damn, we're getting deep and introspective with this shit. They're being like really loud in public about killing people and being gang members, huh? <laughs> the, 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 the food vendors just like head down like fuck. He's <laughs> like shit. Makimura Makoto. Like you presume he probably already knows where Yakuza. We're probably making him pay us for protection, but still. It's a good thing. My big chance to get back to the Yakuza life. I still got time. Worst thing I can do is rush it and screw up. I'll start tomorrow. Tonight I just need to get to bed. Oh my god. 84 million? But he's gonna be stronger now, right? Hey, buddy. Not you again. Gonna try your luck at shaking me down for cash? Sultan Bori's great, isn't it? So much to do, your money's gone before you know it. So yeah, give me yours. All I'm giving you is a beaten, friendo. Get lost. Aren't you forgetting something? I went too easy on you last time. Things are gonna be different today. Is that so? Well, come on, show me what you got. I'll flatten you like a pancake. Good start? Okay, he's got two life bars now. Okay, I see. Shit. Ooh, good dodges. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Oh, we might die here. Get me out. 
Okay, good job. Good job. Alright. Heal up. Get some of that. Hit him with the juice. <laughs> Boom! Good whiff. Oh no! Two piece! That's fine. Come on. Okay. Oh no, 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 no! Please don't die, please don't die! Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Get up. A little will... Yeah, that gets me into... That range. I missed! No! Oh, dude, how did that miss? I'm the luckiest man alive. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> there we go! <laughs> what the hell? He's definitely a bit stronger here. Excellent, dude. Okay. Okay, good block, good block. Damn. Couple swings. Let's take it. Hold up. Uh, he's gonna hit me here. That's fine. I just needed to do that. Yeah, I just needed to do that or it was done. I might have been able to hit the dodge there, but... Dude, the camera there almost screwed me. I don't like when he starts walking up without a guard. It's slightly different, makes me nervous. Good combos. No! <laughs> oh my god, that was a big hit. No, 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 no! Stupid, stupid, stupid. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We, we, could, we take the hit, that's fine. Just don't die. I can't die. Okay, okay. <laughs> Dude, alright. We, we, are, we are scumming a little bit here with the with this shit, but it had to be done. Oh my god. <laughs> He's so strong. There we go. <laughs> it's worth it for the money we're about to get. He just switched gears. I can take you down one hit at a time, don't worry. Oh no, dude, dude! He swung as soon as my prompt was there. Oh no, dude, again, as soon as the prompt showed up, he swung! No. <sighs> Damn. <sighs> All right. Holy crap, he's strong. Yeah, we need to get more upgrades. Damn. Always well until he attacks to get yours in, dude. I got it was close to the end there. I was a couple heat moves away. Huh? Busting my balls for that money. My precious moolah. Tragic. 
Alright, so go home, go to bed. I didn't have as much armor as I could have, too, man. I had the card watcher on. Ah, instead of the travel medallion. Damn. I bet if I had the travel medallion on, I would have had it, man. Just a little bit more armor. A little bit more protection. Oh, good grief. Yeah, that was definitely a pretty solid try. I just don't really have the damage output right now. Give it a little bit longer. We get in through the back here, don't we? I don't remember fishing before bed. Yeah. Because we fought some guys back here, didn't we? I guess you don't have to get in through the back. But that is a... Option. Who is... I was hearing laughing and whispering. Not fighting my fighting stance? I'm just, like, scared that I'm not going to get my, uh... That I'm gonna whiff my hits and be left open. I don't know. We'll try. I'm sure we'll have many more Mr. Shakedown encounters. Let's see if we have PTSD trauma nightmares again. I'm ending. Makoto Makimura. Step one is finding the guy. Telephone clubs. Alright. Yeah, so it's... Ark, you think we're going to be able to wrap up this chapter and get back to Kiryu today? It seems like it, right? I'm thinking so. Because this seems like the, uh, the, oh, uh, find the telephone club uh, encounter for, uh, for Kiryu, right? You walk around the city, you talk a little bit, sniff a trail, and then find it, and then walk in. Hold off on doing any sub-stories? Well, I mean, yeah, avoiding sub-stories is a guarantee, but, like, that's a hard ask for me, man. The sub-stories are my favorite part of the game. I guess we probably got to get our third fighting style. Probably, right? Assuming it follows the same, uh... Assuming it follows the same... Whatever. Are these telephone girls? I got pocket tissues. Oh, here? Enter. Okay. I didn't know this was an enterable building. So there's a phone sex line? Oh boy, give me two hours. Let's go. <laughs> oh, we gotta end stream with... We gotta see what new porn we get before we end stream. He said Makad... Oh, we definitely got new porn for our fake girlfriend. Do we get Ojo... So Do we get old woman porn? He said Makoto Makamura is using college-aged girls. I hope I can get lucky and find one. Hello? Oh, hi. Hey there. Hey, your voice is pretty damn cute. What are you up to? Now? Just slaying around here. I'm jealous. You get the day off? The baby finally went down for his nap. Now that I got my hands free, I figured I'd call in. <laughs> Housewife with the kid? That's off the mark. Guess I'd be too lucky to strike gold on the first call. This is weird, isn't it? So you pay to go in this building and the girls call you, as opposed to the girls working at a location and you calling into them. I feel like that's backwards, isn't it? This is gonna take a while. 90 minutes later. Shit. The tissue box is half empty. 
もしもしあもしもしどうもこんにちは俺ゴロを言うんやけどそっちはうちアッコアッコちゃんか From Little Witch Academia 元気なさそうやんもっと楽しくおしゃべりしようやえー、せやけどめっちゃダセんやもう久々に学校行ったけど速攻で受けてもうたラス、ウィガタカレッジスティーナイジュン、ヒョットステ、ジョシダイセうん、そうやけど。おまいガーッ。What the fuck, マジマ ?I still don't know if she's connected to Makamura. I gotta keep digging here. アコちゃん、テレクラニアヨコテマストノシアナ。ウチ、タイクスナンガイヤーカラ。アソンデクレハルストサガステネ。ほな。外であったりとかドキドキなウェイ。会う会わへんはどないしてきま。So it's not even like a phone sex thing. It's meeting people. So a guy can pay to rent a phone for however long for the chance of a woman to call in to meet him? Is that how this works? 80s tender? Was this a thing in the States? This is wild. Dude, that's crazy. Mmm, ma. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a イレズミしてはったりせえへんイレズミやとうん。うち、そういうのちょっと興味あんねん。ストルユータラドナイズえ、ほんまに ?There might be some Yakuza implication, huh? ほんまにストルンやったらどんな柄なんか教えてくれへん ?I don't want to blow the lid on our Yakuza. So I'm not saying Tiger or Dragon. せやけど、イレズミなんてめったに見られへんやせやからもし入れ墨しとる人がおったら実際に会うて生で見せてもらったりすんねん。ハンニャや。え ?What the fuck's a ハンニャハンニャが入った。あ、oh, demon lady. Okay, I guess we're giving the, giving the game away. ハンニャか。If she's interested in tattoos, she's no ordinary student. Might have some criminal connections. Running low on time here. Better make my move. Bro, imagine you pay to go into the telephone club and no girls call in. <laughs> well, I guess they are being also, I mean, this is also a criminal operation. The girls calling in are being like pimped out, right? That was the implication. But like, assuming, you know, that there are non criminal variants of this as well, right? ところでアッコちゃん、俺からもちょっと聞きたいんやが。ん？何？牧村誠って知っとるか？あお。ごめん。Bro he。ちょちょっと待ってくれ。ちょっと待って。いいやな。俺実はフリーのライターやっててな。牧村藩のこと興味あんねや。お、oh?。それで牧村藩を知ってる人から話聞きたいな思っててな。I think we scared her off. She's coming on too strong, too eager. Okay, I guess she's stupid. All right, let's go. The Iwao Bridge. Grasani Kurono Jacketo. Come here, Chohazo, Ushio de Musundur. Medaskara Suvaka to Mode. Alright. Alright. Yes, I got a girl connected to Makimura. Now I just gotta hope she actually shows. 
Time to head there and find out, I guess. I don't know if I'll ever get a tattoo. You got a dip? Alright, see you, food. Thanks for hanging, dog. Have a good one. Enjoy internet access. What's considered cringe? Uh, you. <laughs> what the hell? The walking erection? <laughs> what? <laughs> You're the manager of the Grand, aren't you? Majima-san? Huh? Uh... Yeah, that's me? You know, that's what they used to call me back in high school. You were, you were enjoying yourself at Odyssey last night. I saw you there. Wait, did I see him, too? I saw him, like, just randomly, like, dancing during a cutscene. Surrounded by pretty girls all day, and you still go to the cabaret on your off time. You're a real poon hound, huh? I missed him in Odyssey. I saw him dancing, but I never, like, looked at him or focused on him, I guess. What a poon hound. Look, that was strictly business. <laughs> Hey, you don't need to hide it. Now you're running for the telephone club first thing in the morning. You're real hard up, aren't you? The guy did the mocap in that outfit? Good for him. Wait, what's your story? The fact you've been everywhere I have means you've got business with all these establishments, don't it? Yep, three rounds a day just isn't enough for me, so I wind up just going from spot to spot. What? From massage parlor to porn hut to who knows where? Dude... Pizza Hut's twin cousin. And shit, three times a day and that's not enough? How much jizz you got in ya? <laughs> I could ask that a lot. My, my libido has a reputation to uphold, but I feel like you and me are in the same boat. Yeah. Why is he like low-key kind of shredded? Like hell we are, so you stop me for a reason? Mm. Oh, just got the feeling we're birds of a feather. Like, he's low-key kind of built, isn't he? Look how long his arms are, too. He does got that bird build, for real. <laughs> it's got the feelings we're birds of a feather, that's all. Thought we could trade tips. I don't want your tip anywhere near me. <laughs> I'm praying you mean info. <laughs> yeah! Mr. Libido's his name, okay. He also called me that back in high school. About where the cutest girls in town are, who was good at what shop, that sort of thing. I'll pass, thanks. I ain't that thirsty. Yeah, that's a real shame. Still, there's way more hotties around lately, huh? Some of them put out videos I'd be watching for sure. What kind of videos we talking here? You've been to the private video booth spot, right? I'm talking about the soft cores they screen there. Ah. Every time I pass a cute girl on the street, I make a note to check whether she's put a video out. God damn, you're one certifiable perv. Hey, I know you'd think the same thing if you saw some of these honeys. I'll let you know where to find some of my favorites. Go have a look. Maybe if I feel like it. I'm pretty much always in one of the spots around town. Come find me if you ever want some fresh wrecks. Yeah, okay. Untancho. Look at the Kalipas on that guy. Supposed to meet Anko on Iwao Bridge. I guess if I go there, she'll come find me. Okay, I gotta hit the porn store at least once. He gives you tips where to find side quests. Ooh, cool, cool. Side quests with chicks. In particular. Traveled 50k on foot, by the way. Avoid the guys by running in the... He's here! <laughs> yeah. Huh? Wait, Soten Boris, Mr. Libido. Is there one in a... Karumocho? I guess we'll find out. I knew it. What are you talking about? Hey, I could tell we were birds of a feather, you and me. Not likely. I ain't half a star for a lady's attention as you. Pal. What were you skulking around here for, then? You shook hands with the ham cucumber, or is it the five-knuckle shuffle still to come? Huh? Give me a friggin' break. 
Come on, let's be honest, huh? Well, I was... Yeah, I was actually scoping out the competition. The second Mr. Libido was just hit the Yakuza game. It's his face for me. The competition. Yeah, I got this nickname, the Lord of the Night. Gotta check out the service of all sorts of places, even if it means dropping my own coin. If you say so. How about you? What are you doing here? I heard they got in the video for a girl I had my eye on for a while, so I raced down here to check it out. Got your ear to the ground, huh? I can't wait any longer! I gotta see it now! Hey, the streets are no place for getting your freak on. Alright, well, I gotta take a leap, so uh, I'll, I'll leave you all with this for a moment. I shall return. Enjoy the show, gay cat. That one's for you. Enjoy the Kalipas. Don't unsub. Whatever will I do? <sighs> I need the Kalipas. <sighs> Streets are no place for getting your freak on. Only if you just don't get caught. Did he just come in his pants? What's with all the moaning, man? Damn it. Whew. Now that's what I call image training. Okay, time for another round. What? You're good to go again? I'm pretty sure that ain't normal. How you even get that kind of stand power? You want to know the secret? I'll let you in on it. Ugh, it's no good. Can't wait any longer. I need to slam the salmon real bad. See ya. I've never heard the sl slam the salmon before. Friend, our friendship. Oh no, I don't want to be his friend. I don't think. <laughs> I don't know if I want to be his friend. And I hope I don't. Wait, I don't have any money, do I? Oh no. Who wants to fight? Hey, leave him alone. Easy. That's the drawback of this bat. You like hit like invisible walls with it. It's drugs. What kind of drug? I here's the thing. I actually heard about this. This might be why I was getting like blue chew ads on TikTok on not on TikTok, on Twitter and stuff. Got a Toriner, by the way. Apparently. Gym bros are, like, taking Viagra at the gym to get a better pump. You heard about that one, Gay Cat? Welcome to Gondara. You charge 800 for per view. Cocoa's definitely new. Yeah, that's the girl. Ah, there's a bad upgrade? Alright. We'll see. Alright, let's see, uh, Cocoa here. 
is she sitting on a toilet? Oh, it's a ball. Okay. <laughs> I thought she was sitting on the toilet for a second. It doesn't sound like a good idea. It sounds like it's probably horrible for you, your heart, right? What has she got in her mouth? Oh, she's blowing up a balloon. <laughs> is she the one that's been blowing up all these balloons, man? You don't like the way she looked at you? They do look at you kind of with hatred in their eyes at times, huh? You. You know that soccer players take, take Viagra to play on places with really high altitudes? That doesn't sound good, though. Arigato gozaimashita. Wait, I forgot there's a ghost in this porn, porn hut now. <laughs> I wonder if that's ever going to be relevant. Is it Mr. Libido? Yo! Oh my god. <laughs> hey, hard at it, huh? Found any hot chicks? Mm. A few. Let's swap info on some girls we're checking out. I don't like this man. He's a sex pest. <laughs> so you go for that type, huh? Never would have thought. You got a problem with that? Oh, nothing. It's just... You know, not even I go for that. But maybe she's worth a second look. What the hell? Majima, mm. don't give this information man information about women's locations. Way too many. Just how horny are you, man? That's the only tip of the iceberg. Damn it, you win. Well, friendship uh, level increased, huh? I ain't never talked about this kind of thing before with anyone. That was really weird, even though we're both dudes and all. What do you mean? The desire to have sex is nothing to be ashamed of. Every guy has it bottled up in there somewhere. I bet it felt good telling me about what kind of girls turn you on, right? It does kind of feel like a relief to get it off my chest. <laughs> See? No need to make a big secret out of it. Tell the whole world. Maybe you got a point. Sokka sure is crazy, though. Ain't no way to keep track of all the different places and all the different girls. Well, that just means we gotta share info more often to raise your batting average. Yeah. Alright, my monster's roaring. I'm gonna go slay it. Damn. Guy's got the stamina of a horse. Why does it always gotta be a horse, huh? Everything's a fucking horse all the time. Jesus Christ. Welcome to Gandara. Let me just bust real quick, sir. Please and thank you. Iori. Iori was the cult member. Micah Gay Cat said looks scared. I remember she has like a very distinctive face. Have we seen all of these? What do you mean the game knows what I am? I know we've done Miku, I know we've done Micah. Have we done Nanase? Otoha. Sounds kind of familiar. You have no idea? You haven't been memorizing their names and faces, Gay Cat? What have you been doing this whole time? Have we done her? She looks kind of familiar, I think. Nope. <laughs> okay, this feels gratuitous. I feel like I would remember this. You've been covering your eyes up every... Nah, this one's kind of crazy. 
You've been covering up your eyes every time we come in here, Gay Cat? This one is, is kind of nuts, dude. Spooning with the balloon? <laughs> I wish there was a bit of a fast forward option. I do. I'm. I am curious. I do want to watch them all. You probably get CP if you do. But they're all just like a little bit too long. It's just like when you see sports on TV. <sighs> it's the girl from the police officer side quest. I think we've saw that one then. It's just been so long, I guess, since we saw her. Alright, here we are. Yo. Hi, Majima-san. You look full of energy. Ah. You too. Let's trade info on the best girls. Alright, Mr. Libido. The clerk is still alive? Yeah, the ghost is just chilling, I guess. Chamalia. Majima's a sex pest. Do you still like Majima after this, gay cat? <laughs> Engaging with this Mr. Libido individual? So, is... Is Mr. Libido, like, slamming mad puss? Or is he just, like, beating off 20 times a day? Like... What exactly is happening? It's like, they're talking about numbers. <laughs> Hmm. You know when you try to play it safe, you spend a lot of time going through photos to pick a girl you like? Even if the girl turns out to be just as hot as the photo, it still feels like something's missing. I know, that's exactly it. The only way to taste the thrills I'm out for is to jump in without choosing a girl and let fate be your guide. It's probably at least... Paying to get uh, jerked off at massage parlors? Oh, he did say that he was doing that. He's also going to the cabaret club, but they don't jerk you off there. He's going to the porn hut. You jerk yourself off there. That lady just walked up, saw him, and then turned around. Did you see that? The lady in the blue skirt. <laughs> You're real natural at this. You've come a long way in such a short time. <laughs> I'm surprised myself. It's easier to talk about it now, too. Maybe my inhibitions are melting away. <laughs> you probably got a lot of stress in your job. You have to lay yourself bare, at least in your downtime. Yeah, it's definitely relaxing. Ooh, all this talk's getting me frisky again. I need to go buff the baloney. See you around. So... Everyone is familiar with the coming on anime figurines community online. You know, whether, like, there, there's the jar meme, but then there's, like, the guys who just, like, oh, here's, this is a pic of, like, I, I busted a load on this, uh, you know, figure here, right? Did you know that there are also plushophiles? They call themselves that. That is not the name that I would, you know, that's not a title I would identify with yes, if I were into that. But I found out that those people also exist. There was a bit of overlap. If I quit, will it still trigger uh, the guy or do I need to watch it? That one's dangerous? Exactly. I was like, that's a brave, brave one there. All right, I guess we got to watch a video to trigger this guy. That shit wouldn't come out. Well, I doubt they're letting it soak. But maybe they are. I don't know. I, di I just read about them. I didn't see any. <laughs> he only triggers every few videos. Let's see if he triggers this time. <laughs> I'm friends with all the pornos. What do you mean? That triggered a horrifying memory. To max them out, you need 15 unique videos? Oh my god. 
Let's get the jerkin then. Does it count if I already watch some of them? Or does like running them back like this? Oh, do you mean when you get new videos it triggers them? So I think I just went in there for no reason. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, we're done there for now. So that's what, putting girls on my map? I'm not seeing any girls marked on my map, though. Yeah, alright, alright. Enough. I'm drained. My balls lay empty. Just can't let these guys catch up with me. Not trying to fight them right now. Excuse me. Why are you driving that car in these back streets like this? Oh my god. Hmm. It counts if you watched them before. Okay, okay. I keep telling you, we're sold out, but, but please, there's gotta be a way. Look, you can wail all you want, but sold out is sold out. I can't magically pull one out from under the counter. Please, I'm begging you, just one's all I need. Okay, now you're just crazy. If you don't back off, I'm gonna have to call the police. Oh no. What am I gonna do? <sighs> What's eating that guy? All right, we're gonna hold off on that for right now. We might hit that up bef before we finish. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I assume... Oh my god. Is this Mr. Libido again I just saw? I swear I just saw him standing on the bridge. <laughs> but, um... I assume that, uh... We're probably gonna get a no point of return... Point of no return option like we did with, uh... What's his name? Q you. This is where I'm supposed to meet Anko. I'll just have to wait and hope she finds me. Pretty jacket, girl. I really like when Majima does like this upbeat, fake ass voice. <laughs> Shit, her guards up sky high. She bails on me and I'm screwed. Gotta find a way to put her at ease. What? Undercover celebrities? The angle we're going with? It's <laughs> like a pretty bold direction to go with, but I guess this is a pre internet world, huh? Alright, that's the first hurdle cleared. ほな、早速やけど、そこらでチャでも飲みながら話聞かせてもらえるか。お茶うち、お寿司食べたい。I'm kind of hungry too, shit. <laughs> oh, I got a food bar. I forgot. I got 50 grand. I got like 118. Sheesh. I figured I probably wouldn't get this info for free, but I do what you gotta do. I'll pay whatever it takes. I swear Mr. Libido was here. Sushi bar?
Oh, it's marked. I never had sushi, girl. I don't like her attitude. ほな、1万くらいでお任せするわ。あと、今日の英語をお作りにしてくれ。あ、海と he disappeared when, like, when certain avenues start being locked off, you know? <laughs>。毎日。何や。そんな犬の巻き飛びしんか。犬の。そんなあるはずないやん。いつでも好きな時にやれるのがこのバイトの英徳やの。いやいや、バイト中ことは、つまり誰かから依頼されてやっとるわ
金で何でも買える思ったら大間違いやで<�ughs> っていうかお金はうちが払うから When's the last time any of y'all went to an arcade in real life? It's got to have been at least three years for me. It was when I played the Luigi's Mansion uh, shooter game. I did not like it. Move claw left. Yeah. That's super good. We might get it, but. Wait, did, she didn't say she wanted a particular one, did she? Fuck my life. For not counting the bar? You don't know it's been a while? Do they got arcade games like that at your bar? At a bar you go to? I mean, for real, it's been a minute since I even went to a bar the last time. A couple years. That's no good either. The gaming bar? Oh, yeah, yeah, you mentioned that. I think that lizard's as good as ours, baby. Come on, come on. Come on, dude. He got hooked on the other lizard. Shit. I'm getting a fucking lizard. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> that was the worst. Over there, the axolotls and shit. We already got those as Kiryu. I want something, man. I'm not coming. I'm not leaving this place empty-handed. <gasps> kind of, kind of good. No, not good enough. That's a pretty good setup to get next one, though. I think I've mentioned it before, but I used to do these crane machine things all the time in real life. I love crane machines. Well, not this kind, obviously, but like the four, the four hooked ones. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah, we're on a date right now, Rixor. I guess I'll keep trying for that round, boy. I think maxing it out might have been good. Uh, should have went back like an inch more. I don't know, this might be good. Damn, those bitches are hard. At that angle, it's gotta be easy now, though, right? You prefer games that are fun? I mean, I find crane games fun, but like, I definitely don't prefer them to be nothing but crane games. But I will on occasion do a crane game for like a plushie. Dude, those things are impossible. Yeah, I don't think I would ever try a crane game that's like, ooh, win like an Xbox. Win an iPad. Fuck that. Aw, you blew it. Come on, Gorosan, get it together. Things harder than I thought. Is it worth trying again? I would like to keep at it, actually. But let's try the other one. Let me... I was hoping it would switch. Maybe I can grab this thing by the tail. Thing got in my way. <gasps> yes! Yes! Let's go. Got it! This is what you wanted, yeah? That's so awesome, Gorosan. Thank you. <laughs> Piece of cake. 
I kind of wanted to play Outrun while I was here. But the woman wouldn't let me. Always gotta get in the way of me and my video games. I used to play at a... I used to play the crane game at my Walmart. Where I worked. One time my dickhead boss. I was off the I was off the clock and I was like playing the uh, the crane game before I left at at work at Walmart. And uh, he like came up behind me and like tapped me on my shoulder. He's like, "What are you doing? Get back to work!" Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, "Dude, I clocked out." You could just like see like the color drain from his face. Like, what a fucking dumbass. What a dumb idiot. Hop off my dick, amigo. But, uh, I did enjoy- what is happening here, by the way? What the hell is this? A petite youth? <laughs> what the hell? This dude looks like a... A monkey. He looks like someone from one of the 2003 Planet of the Apes movies. Ain't telling you again, Specs. This is our patch. Always has been. Now clear out my yard, son. You high? I had my eye on this bridge for a while now. Don't matter who was dancing here before. That don't mean you own the place. Oh, this is probably the uh, third fighting stance, huh? They're gonna fight. Did they have to take up the whole bridge? I got a disco to get to. Disco, they're talking about dancing. I guess it's a dancing based fight. Is this dude gonna teach me? Majima, there you are. Old man Komaki. What, you still out hunting for a place we can go at it? No, just out for my afternoon constitutional. Taking in the city. You seem troubled. Denise has a free crane game. Ooh. Got so many angry birds. <laughs> well, yeah, I gotta get across... Oh, that's my job. Well, yeah, I gotta get across this bridge, but... Those punks are... Doing a good job of blocking the way. They want to break each other's faces, that's fine by me. I just wish they'd hurry up with it. Fisticuffs, hmm? Knowing the rituals of their kind. I doubt things will take such a violent turn. Rituals? What do you know of these guys? Judging from their attire, they are practitioners of the new breaking dance the kids are so fascinated with these days. It is their custom to settle disputes by dancing. Dancing to assert dominance? What are they? Some kind of horned up birds? How the hell do you fight with dancing? Just watch. There, look, they've begun. Watch their performances closely. Come on, come on! Holy shit. <laughs> That's so rad. Damn, Majima, that was way more extensive than what anyone else just did. Holy, that was dancing? i never seen moves that sharp. Wonder if I could pull some of that off. Uh. Alright, dance battles. Got it, got it. Ooh, that big guy, uh, Crazy Dread? Or Komeki, there's a breakdancer that looks like Komeki. Uh, seems the boy in the red frock won. Or, oh no, the monkey guy? <laughs> there's someone that looks like him? That's cool. Put an homage to him in the game. Seems the boy in the red frock one. Quite the sight, huh? Interesting way of establishing pecking order. Yeah, not bad as street performances go. Playing koi, Majima? How do you mean? Watching them dance sparks something inside you. Did our date just stop existing for this, by the way? You got eyes like a damn hawk. Yeah, alright. 
Still don't know if I could actually apply it, though. Another thing to look forward to in our sparring. Sorry, but I'm kind of in the middle of something here. I get that you're raring to go with this, but it's going to take me a while, yeah? Oh, one well, of these dates with a young lass, are you? Formidable man of many arenas, it seems. What? Nah, it ain't like that. Only teasing, my friend. But I have found our venue. Ashitaba Park. I'll drop by when I get some time. And I'll be waiting. I'll have my training to occupy me until then. Farewell. Okay, so I guess we'll go to the end of our date. We'll get the info on where to go for this Makoto guy. And then, uh... After we get the info about where the Makoto guy is, that'll be like the... You can go there to fight him, I guess. Or kill him, or whatever. And that'll be the point of no return. Probably. We might even sleep before. We'll see. Hello, sir. The VIP room? Shit. 30k? So we're down 50k on this date. This is the same uh, same name as the one over in uh, Karumocho, by the way. The Maharaja. But I don't think we've been in the, the Satanbori disco yet. I wonder if we'll hit up karaoke too. Champagne. Did you hear him say that? She don't got no friends? She just like me for real? Oh. oh, she's a runaway? Damn, okay, she's got a bit of a sob story. Damn. Yeah, these girls are in tough spots, for real. So Makoto Makamura is a saint. <laughs> やから、その間の人に会った時はすぐに誠さんのポケベルに連絡入れんねん。そしたらすぐに飛んできてくれはるから。あ、遅いえば、さっきもその間のことを言うとったな。牧村淳はその意見かが強いんか。強いなんても
<laughs> Sir, you guys missing his clown? Listen, buddy. Hope you like breakdancing, pal. Okay, wow. Perfect. I was hoping I get a chance to chase that shit I saw on the bridge. Let's go. Oh, and we're doing it outside. Okay, okay, so that's it for the bar. Well, I guess, or, or for the club. I guess dancing will, will occur, though. Let's get it. It's weird. It's really weird how they, like, try to fit this into the story. The, like, dance moves, because it's, like, not connected whatsoever. But they try and make it. Trigger an X attack followed by a wombo a Y combo attack to finish with a freeze pose. From this pose you can unleash an additional attack, a finishing blow called the double breaker. So X Y. Oh my god. Oh my god. So this is a button mashing. This seems like a button mashing style of fight. What the hell? <laughs> okay. Here we go. <laughs> this is definitely a button mashing fight fight style. My God, man. <laughs> boom, boom. It's pretty good. <laughs> Is Sanji a dance fighter? All I know is N-A-M-I, Nami's not shy. Or is it S-A-N-J-I, Sanji's your guy. How did that shit go? L-A-D-Y, Nami's not shy. He's a chiropractor, huh? Alright, we finally nailed him down. Gotta be king of the pirates. <laughs> you never know what's happening, but neither does the AI. Well, it seemed like an XXY was giving me the spin attack, which is pretty good. She's not a woman. She's a lady. She's an L.A.D.Y. So Makoto is like the patron saint of Sotenbori. <laughs> Even she's literally saying a state, a, a saint. It's definitely, be I definitely prefer breakdance to fucking uh, what's that one guy? Bra uh, not brawler, beast mode, whatever it was called. Oh, bat tats. Oh, look, there's Mr. Uh, Beatdown in the back again. So you all know that the Net Netflix One Piece is going to have a reference to uh, that four kids opening, right? <laughs> Bye, Akko-chan! 
<laughs> Chopping on your parents. <laughs> Mr. Shakedown is going ham on a, a rice ball down there. Yeah, he's obviously sounding nothing like what we were told. How's the total scumbag exploiting women for cash turn into a saint going around saving them? And what's this deal with the bat tattoo? Doesn't matter. Saint or scum, I'm killing Makimura. That's the job. He should be a Hagushi Kaikon in Shoku, Shofu Kucho South. I'm gonna finish this tonight. Hundred and three million more petite youth. Is this the dance lord? All right. Is the guy from the bridge? Okay, we're gonna kind of go through this. I felt, I felt that. The hell are you exploding for? That battle was sick, yo. Those moves got me seriously bugging. Thought I'd seen the best one where you had to offer, but your skills are to the curb. What the hell are you talking about, man? It was a bolt from the blue to me, a shout from God. You gotta join my crew. Areshi crew. You joined up, we'd be kings of Sotenbori. Why would I waste my time playing around with you and your friends? I'm not playing. We are in this for real. We're throwing down every day. A lot of folks come through here. Big wigs. Entertainment big wigs gotta be in the mix, yeah? You one of those. Attention, who cares? I want the big boy. If I want the big boys to take notice, I gotta stand out more than everybody else. Do that, and getting on TV is totally possible. It's a 18 million budget per episode, by the way, Ark. Yeah, pump up the volume on your moves. You'll be unstoppable, son. And hey, you don't gotta give me an answer now. Think on it. We practice in the alley behind Shofu Kochu Kucho West. Alright. We'll be waiting for you. Understood, amigo. Where's the pawn shop? CP. Sell imported brands. There's the pawn shop. I gotta. I, I'm, I'm gonna sell our shit and go crazy on the upgrades. This way. Netflix is gonna lose so much money in the next few years. That's crazy because their signups have never been doing better ever since they implemented no password sharing. They really did that shit and got rewarded for it. Ain't that just how it goes? That ain't gonna last though? I don't know, man. I think a lot of people are just resigned to paying Netflix every month. Like, it's not even an active choice. It's just, like, a granted, yeah, that's what you do. You can sell things from storage? I don't think so, because I think I remember having to... trying to do that last time, and it did not yeah, work out. Say. No, you definitely can. Okay, that's good to know. Wow, I like that the Karakappa is worth less than half. The Dragon Whisker is worth $14 million? Oh, that must be stuff I got from Bob. Shit. Oop, no, not that. All right. 101 million. Arigato gozaimasta. It's used to make an OP weapon. We might we might dabble in, in weapon crafting at some point. Maybe.
No, I wanted to buy. Oh, someone's at my front door. Uncle's here. Good thing I don't have to talk to him. Alright, what can we buy? Sniper darts. They make aiming easy. I'll buy it. Careful when you swing that bat around. Secret wallet? That's admitting defeat to Mr. Uh, Shakedown, basically. Is is going hardcore into fishing even worth it? Should I buy the peerless pole? Never touch your quiz equipment system? You mean the crafting system, Mark? I'm gonna buy the peerless pole. And I'll just put the dump the rest of my money into Slugger here. A leg sweep attack launched from low stance. X when your guard is broken. If I want to fish, that's the best pole in the game. You thought it was an RPG, action RPG? How do you not, how do you not, what, deal with weapons? I mean, because you can just upgrade your fists. That's all you need, really. Dude, I have so much... Shit, I'm almost tempted to keep going down the HP, but... I think we've got enough HP. Yeah, it seems like the... Artini are an enemy. Perform a jumping flourish. <laughs> it seems to me like the weapons are there more for variety than for, like, necessity. Though, I mean, you did some pretty OP weapons from Bob, but that's, like, for, I think, like, DLC versions of the game or something. Highly evasive spinning move that can be performed when you have your guard up. Sure. Power surge on other styles. Yeah. This all-out hit takes full advantage of the baseball bat designs. Sounds cool. I can't get no more power surges on thug style. I can get some of this stuff though. Uh, yeah, make a HP up. Fifty million for the next HP up. Jeez. Immediately recover and perform an attack after being knocked to the ground. All right, can I afford anything else? Ooh, I'm close. Like a couple more nonsense encounters than I can. I think literally one more nonsense encounter, actually. Ah, uh, no, I'll just get this shit. Anything useful? Unleash a spinning leg attack after being knocked to the ground. Yeah. Why? It seems like the a lot of them are really cheap on the breaker style. Pose soul. Pose soul? Is that a Zelda reference? <laughs> Fellas. Alright, so we're probably going to be OP for the rest of this chapter now. <laughs> After all that shit. It was pretty crazy. Do I even want to do this? I definitely don't want to fight. M Mr. Beatdown is sleeping on the ground over there. 
<laughs> hey pal, what's the matter? Why is a grown man bawling in public? I couldn't buy the heart necklace. Huh? A heart necklace? Yes, a heart necklace from Destinies. It's trendy and in high demand. It's so popular, it actually sold out everywhere. Okay, there's a popular necklace. You can't buy it. Big deal. This doesn't sound like you gotta flood the Sotenbori about it. But I have to buy it. If I don't get one... You can see Mr... Mr. Shakedown sleeping back there. <coughs> if I don't get one soon... <laughs> Cut that shit out, man. Get a hold of yourself. Why do you need it right now anyway? Just wait for the next delivery. I, uh, I, I promised this girl I'm seeing that I would get her a heart necklace for her birthday. If I wait for the next delivery, I'll miss her birthday. I'll be breaking my promise. Sure, okay, but this one's on you for making a promise you can't keep. Ain't nothing for it but to come clean to your gal with an apology. Hmm. Like I could do that. What if she gets mad? What if she dumps me? Oh man, what am I gonna do? Pull out as much air as you want about it, but the fact remains, it's sold out. Not much to be done, son. <laughs> or, I suppose you could get yourself a fake. <laughs> That's true. Wait, a fake? That's it. That's the answer. Huh? If I can't get the real thing, I'll get a fake that looks just like it. I need to get a fake heart necklace and give that to her. But it's fake, man. Ain't she gonna, ain't she gonna notice? I don't think so. Destiny's heart necklace is so popular, it's almost impossible to find one in the wild. Only a jeweler could tell a real from a fake. And so, still, I mean, that's gonna mean pulling a fast one on your girl. I know. I don't want to break my promise to her, though. I don't want to see her sad. I really don't want her to dump me. Hmm. Well, if you think that's your answer, there it is. But how are you gonna get that fake? You got any leads? No, not at all. I would have to find a forger who works with jewelry. If only there was someone who's familiar with the criminal underworld. Someone who would be acquainted with forgers. <laughs> oh, sure. I li like you're gonna run into some suitable shady character like that on the street. <laughs> you're right. Actually, you look a little shady. No, scratch that. You're totally shady. <laughs> what? This is profiling. Please, could you use your shady connections and hook me up with a forger? Listen, you're kind of hurting my feelings here. Besides, there ain't no forgers in my social circle. Circle. Try barking up another tree. Hmm. You look so shady. You look like the sort of person who would know all kinds of criminals, not just forgers. You're disappointing me here, pal. And you're really rude, you know that? Oh, I I'm sorry, but I have no one else to turn to. If you find anyone who could help, could you please tell me? I don't want to disappoint my girl. <sighs> I guess your intentions ain't bad, at least. Fine. Tell you what, if a miracle happens I get a lead on a forger, you'll be the first to know. Thank you. You're a lifesaver. It's sad. It ain't like you run into forgers on the street. If you want shady, you go to the shade. The alley of heads is as good a place as any to look. That alley? <sighs> what time is it? 4.30? See, I don't really want to do that sub-story right now, but if I don't do that sub-story, that means I won't continue it for like another month, right? Because uh, we're going to go back to Kiryu. Not a month, but like a couple of weeks at least. Where's the save point here, by the way? Oh, it's right here. Well, I guess I'll clean it up. Who cares? I guess. I kind of do. But I'm also... I, I also want to see the story, so fuck that guy. I'm definitely more interested in the story right now. I mean, I'll, I'll get an upgrade while I'm over here. From the dancer boys. <laughs> this will go quick. Ah, glad you can make it. Just stop by for a look. Okay, so happy. Three of us against you. All right, break dancing. One nerd to try. Let's do it. Where'd you have in mind? Ain't gonna draw a crowd back here in this alley. 
on our main stage. Look at these guys. I love these goofy fellas. They all have the same head and face, by the way. Crazy Dreads, you said they're based on a, a real-life guy? Was he a triplet? What am I supposed- <laughs> I wasn't paying attention enough. What was the goal? Yeah, here we go. Spin. That spin a Rooney. That's what I wanted. Double attack and then into it. Okay, yeah. That definitely seems to be, like, the best. Oh, he hit me with one. We're trading! Whoa, that was crazy. We were trading moves there, because <laughs> he was knocking me on the ground and then using a move to get up. I was doing the same, that was funny. I had an annoying little hoe. Alright, you definitely just don't want to knock the red guy on the ground. They love it, man. The people love it. Stay away from me, red boy. You son of a bitch. Oh my god damn you, red boy. He's talking shit. Oh, come on, come on. Yeah, Red Boy definitely seems like the, the main, uh, the main obstacle here. <laughs> oh, man, he just palmed me. Alright, very nice. We cranked out over two million. What's the throwing attack after three? I don't know, actually. Ow. All right. I was trying to hold back, but I landed a few head crackers there. I'll survive, I think. How'd the show go? Shogi? Wasn't counting on any tips at all, so I figured we did pretty damn good. Once we put a bit of polish on things, we might make some real green here. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm thinking we can make this work. Let's do this again, Majima Soon. Son? That's our cut. Seems a little short as all. We ranked in more than this, didn't we? That's your 20%. It's all there. Huh? Should be 25%. <laughs> okay, okay, now nah, we want more than that. We know our value. Our surplus labor value is being exploited. Come on, man. Don't be like that. Sure, we were putting on a show, but it still hurts like hell to be on the other end of those kicks series. Uh... I'm gonna have to spend a fortune on hot compresses to get the swelling down. And the only reason we got to use that bridge is because I won the spot for us, and... and... Okay, okay. Maybe you got a point if you factor in the treatment and location. I'll take 20% for now. <laughs> and I can pick up a CD boombox. I mean, a compress. Hot compress. You got a mouth on you, alright. Still, I guess I can trust that you're serious about dancing. Alright, I'll see you around. <laughs> <laughs> I like that guy. Got this menacing, serious music playing. Training, we got new moves. Okay, that's good, that's good. I'm gonna keep it real. We're just gonna skip through this. I'm not gonna be doing anything except mashing buttons in dance mode, so. I'm caught between two enemies. Press Y in time the enemy's attacks. Oh, it's a... That's a fire move. Oh my god. Whoa! He made him kick him in the nuts! Okay, maybe I'll want to use that one. That was pretty dope. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh 
<laughs> no, that seems hella dope. And that builds heat? Wow. Hey yo. Hey yo. So why did they decide to make break breakdancer such an insanely busted <laughs> stance compared to the other two? It's crazy. Uh, it's just because I'm in training, understandable. But still, seems pretty good. He's got five moves total. Show me a pose soul. It's a finisher. After you knock a guy down, you're gonna finish him off with a lightning quick blow. A charged up windmill ought to knock him down easy. Alright, so it's a ground finisher. Breaker is not busted. It's just goofy, I guess. Feels busted. Feels like it's got lots of uh, utility. So that's after a triple attack, it's just like a breakdance thing. Oh my god, are you sure it's not busted? Well, he was on the ground and this is what came out. That's not really what I wanted to happen. But I guess I can do it now. Oh, it's just... that's not a finisher. Oh, I guess those are heat moves, not finishing moves. So I guess a finishing move is what you would call this. All right, there we go. All right, one more move for now. Time for a belt, break for battles when you aren't around, but everyone keeps asking for the eye patch guy. So breaker battle is just somewhere we could go to get some money, I guess. What's a dash pure away? About to be in our spider gwen life. Gonna run up and unleash a massive spin and elbow attack. And you gotta make it look radical. Okay. Not being great against bosses. I mean, that makes sense. It seems like the quintessential like mob control thing, right? So it's just a dash attack here. So far, it seems like the only one that's like truly bad is uh, beast mode. And even then, it's not bad. It's just not fun. Like it was really good against like that one, that final boss of uh, the second chapter. It's just not fun <laughs> to use. Nice. And he's going to say we probably need to upgrade more before he'll teach us more. Essence of the Last Stand. Look at all this shit, man. <laughs> Time for a bout. Brick for battles. Everyone wants the eye patch guy. He didn't say anything about new moves. Yeah. So okay, no new moves yet. Beast is the lesser of all of them. Yeah. I'm curious to see if see what the fighting styles are like in the other games. If there are new ones or if it's the same every game. Don't answer that. You know, we'll figure it out when we get there. Don't mind if I do be. Go to me. Sweet, sweet, go to me. Alright. Let's do this, y'all. Oh my god, let's save. 
I guess this is gonna likely be the point of no return for uh, this chapter here. Pretty big deal. And we're coming up on that playtime I had on my other other save, 30 hours. Ogushi Kaikan. Here it, who? What? <laughs> Here it is. Makoto Kishimura. He's in there. Whack him and I'm back in the family. You got this. No reason to hesitate. I've been playing Lab Dog this whole time for a chance like this. I ain't going through that humiliation again. This time, I'm doing it. Ready to bust in? Let's do it. Alright, here we go. Uh-oh. Get that nice cussing. Majima is for real ready to do this. Empty. Did they know I was coming? I think I did see this actually. Okay, this is what I've mentioned since the first time I played, what I mentioned remembering. This is the most memorable thing. I don't remember the outcome here. And this is 100% the last thing I saw. Like, for real, for real. I promise. <laughs> okay. I don't remember the resolution here. I'm really excited to find out though. If this is what I'm thinking of. Remembered me describing this? Yep. Okay. あの。<laughs> See the cane she's got? Okay, yeah, I remember this shit. Uh, what happens though? Do we do it? Oh, my God. <laughs> Maj was like, oh, fuck. There's very good acting here, right? Like, facial animations and like body language. Very good acting in this cutscene. Especially with Majima. Like, Kiryu is like pretty deadpan and it'll make a stank face, but Majima is like very expressive. I love it. <laughs> the God Hands. 
ゴッドハンドっちゅう噂らしいやんか。ええ。じゃから飛んできたっちゅうわけなんやけど。Girl, it's okay. Is she gonna give us something to hold us over? I'm <laughs> feeling better. <laughs> Steal money out of the register. What is this? Some Okaksa, Hontoni Cotemusne, Soto Tracatanjanideska. So, what's the verdict on chiropractors, gay cat? They're a scam, right? Stredesga, Oshigoto, and Nanio Sarede. 仕事？俺は。My job? Ooh. I work at the cabaret. 俺はキャバレーのボーイや。そうなんですか。同業の方たくさん。Really, a bunch of cabaret guys come through? No, you don't know why people say that because isn't there like no science behind it? Don't they like, don't they objectively do like damage to people's necks and spines? What? One of my employees are snitching on me, man. <laughs> he said, who, who the fuck is it? お客さんと知り合えるから全然苦にならないんですよね。私、お客さんから仕事のこととか街のこととか聞くのが好きなんです。お客さんが普段どんな仕事をしててそれで体がこんな風に凝ってるんだなって施術をしながら頭の中で想
どうしてもお店に来られないって人のために出張訪問まですることもありますしいつもお客さんの健康を第一に考えてるんです整体師としてもそうですけど人間としてとっても尊敬できる人ですよへえそれに以前私も店長に救われたし救われた<笑>とにかく店長は全然怖くないですよ人は見た目によらないってことで I'll just say I saw a video once of a chiropractor breaking this guy's spine that was crazy he just broke his back that was insane and uh I saw another one it was a guy doing adjustments on a, a literal like baby man that was crazy too what about when they bring out like the 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 the, the hammer and the and the thing and they like <coughs> in their neck and shit you know or they do it into the in the back as well what about that we trust that that's scary Sounds like you saved this girl too, same as Akko. Guess I'm just gonna have to meet this fella in person and see for myself. If I keep quiet, she'll just keep asking questions. Alright, just ask about her now. Not well regulated. <laughs> well, it's not regulated at all, right? You don't need like a degree, do you? I mean, I do know that there are courses for it, but you don't need those, right? Or am I? Or or are there? Is something required, but it can be acquired quickly? What is it? Oh, she likes to talk, huh? She won't stop talking to us. Hostess, n u n c l e A blind hostess? <laughs> I mean, she might be good at it, but some guys might be assholes about it, huh? You see the soles of Majima's feet? No, not the massage gun. They have like this. It's like a. It's like a stake, and they hammer. They hit it with a mallet. It's not a gun. The the, the gun is like a massage gun that you could like buy anywhere. I'm talking about the pop pop, the mallet, and the stake. <laughs> Yeah, literally no one has a bad word to say about this guy. She seems pretty grateful. Just who is this guy? Uh oh, we're back to pre rendered. Uh oh. Dude, it's so tense. Oh my god. Okay, 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 ok
電波も全然流れてなかったみたいですし睡眠不足が続いていたんじゃないですか、ah, I've been having them nightmares every night そうかもしれんなじゃ今度は仰向けになってもらえますかちょっと枕の準備しますねたく何してんねん俺はあれえいやまいったまいったあーかいらっしゃいほうこれはお邪魔やったからあしえこの方店長をご指名でいらっしゃったんですよ。そしてエクサクザトゥーウォーズイエンライナーカラダジュカチカチで私が無理って施術させてもらったんですですよねあ,あそうや。そないからだいためつける仕事っちゅうも興味ありますな。カバレーウェイターおしえだ。あれ店長、ハリーですかそれ。はあ、弟子に任せっきりやったら、新規のお客さんに失礼やしな。オプションでハリーとこがおもてな。え本当ですかお客さんラッキーですよ店長常連さん以外針治療やってくれないんです店長の針球だったらお客さんの子にも良くなるかもしれないうい<笑>あれ<笑> Oh my god ああか大事なもん忘れた I mean he could have just put me out right then if he wanted to He could have put that right in my eyeball あるやるとき、わしがタバコで急に火つけるんは知っとるやろあ、早くできて。でも、私だと時間かかりますよ。大丈夫や。それまでゆっくり、このお客さんのツボ、チェックせなあかんからな。じゃあ、行ってきます。At least she's out of here. Seen some masterpiece? It's very tense. It's really good. What a great premise, too. You know, the, throw the blind girl in there. With like very identifying factors on both of us. We, we know there's fucking beef instantly. She can't see anything. Are we doing this, though? Are we gonna take him out? I don't know how the. I don't remember how this ends. どこで聞いたんやどこもかしこもあるかいテレクラで引っ掛けた女つこうて派手なリサーチかましとりゃ何も売れるわほういろいろ調べてきたよ<笑> OK ダイアン She's gonna come back in in the middle of our fight ねえずいぶん余裕やな大海の鉄砲玉がなんか知らんがまたの店で気抜いとるようなどしろの殺し合えてならなおさらやん悪いことは言わんこのままおとなしゅう帰れば見逃してるでなおなばばりぶんふん引く気はないかドゥーデならゴッドアンドアイサービスや I guess we're doing this just because oh it's not a fight. Oh, is it? Okay, it is. Okay, it is a fight. Massive man. All right, man. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Almost went to dead space there. Oh, <laughs> what is this? QTE based? Okay, now we are. Now we're in it. Now we're in it. All right. Oh, man. We're kind of dominating him, huh? Kind of overpowered. <laughs> Oh, good catch, man. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, ow, my arm. 
<laughs> no, not the guardian. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Get off of me, man. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. We got so much HP now, though. <laughs> it's doing nothing to us. Damn. All right. <laughs> Just get with the little stool here. Oh, pummel me. It's alright, it's alright. Damn! Jesus, the grab. Never expect it. There we go. Fuck me, man. He's good. Hey, let me run. <laughs> there we Oh, I missed! I primed myself for him. There we go. I missed again. I'm gonna get him. Ah, oh, damn. Oh. Damn. Try and take it a little bit straight straighter. Seems like the bat actually counters this guy pretty good. Yeah. Animation, I yeah yeah my grabs. I'm used to big bosses like this kind of breaking out of my grabs. Put him out with the chair. What's the resolution here though, man? Do we do it? Obviously, this girl's got to come back in. Oh, that was badass. <laughs> He's got us winded. <laughs> oh my god. Who are these guys? They're gonna kill him before I can, I bet. Wait, this ain't even Makoto? Riyato? What are you talking He's just been using that name? なんでしょうもない嘘ついとんねん。今までそれで乗り切ってきたんかもしれんが、うちらには通用せんで。何やと。せやったら。おお、ノー。Wait, that's Makoto? What the fuck? Oh my god. What the fuck? Why is she so important? Majima ain't gonna kill her. He can, you don't get that in him. Maybe he does though, I don't know. <laughs> Majima, you just gonna watch this dog? Holy shit balls. Come on, what what was the translators going on here, man? 
They turned Majima into a redditor. Damn, alright. You like her? I like her too. Oh! That's a boy? Yeah, see, he could have done that to us frame one if he wanted. Oh, they're gonna kill his ass. Ah, damn. That it for him? Yeah, that's probably it for him. Damn. Everything is fucked. Alright, we're gonna go into dance mode. Clean these boys up. Oh, we're shirtless in combat, huh? That's cool. It's continuing. Yahoo! Waha! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god how they get guns like that i don't know i mean there were guys with guns in uh kiryu's thing too and kiryu's story too oh wow get the those boys running in sync down there you guys ain't going anywhere all right we got our clothes on we got our clothes back no more shirtless majima Give me the girl. Now you're getting it. Uh oh, that boy is heavy set. Literally everyone you fight calls you like a one eyed freak, a cyclops, like. Yeah, I don't know. Breaker seems pretty busted to me, Ark. But I think I'm gonna be busted no matter what. I just put a bunch of money into upgrades on everything, so... You know, we could be making a huge mistake. We don't know who this girl is. I assume she's probably the daughter of someone that is uh, holds a lot of power, if I had to guess. But also, like, how is this going to tie into Kiryu's story, right? Maybe she's related to Tachibana? <laughs> Maybe she owns that fucking, uh, small lot. If your pursuers spot you and you're caught, you'll have to fight. Approach groups of people staying in the streets and press A to blend in and hide yourself. Get her up north of Sotenbori Street. Take the girl and run.
Are those guys gonna come down this way? No, they're turning. Okay. I'm okay with this uh, this escort mission here. Mm, uh, those guys in that alley turn around. Okay, we'll just wait here. I see what the idea is. We're gonna go back here. We're gonna go back here and go around. Now this is a totally narratively justified uh, escort mission. And I'm having fun with it. You gonna be okay? That's a good question, girl. That was a good question. We're pretty good at blending in, huh? We're on our Assassin's Creed shit. Let's go. What is this big... There's a bunch of... things over here. Oh, the enemies haven't loaded in yet. What? Oh, the, ooh, ooh! There is some mandatory fighting, maybe? Oh. That was a pretty easy QTE. Okay, that one was a little quicker, but I was expecting it. Oh my god. Okay. What the fuck was the point of that? <laughs> that just happened. Um, so that just happened. That's a lot of dudes. <laughs> Luckily, there's shit for brain IQ. Or AI, I guess, not IQ. Uh. I don't see how we get out of this one without fighting. Quick, 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 quick. Okay. Ooh, that was a close one. Very close. All right, get, get, get to moving, get to moving quicker. Okay. Oh my god. It's a bunch of guys up here though. But they're not. Oh no, they saw us. Okay, okay. Okay, can't hide in plain sight. Okay, we're busted, and there's a lot of guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, since we got breakdance mode, we should be good. Like, it's pretty busted. And it's got good AoE. We'll be able to protect her. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, this is a pretty goaded... Oh my god, did you just see that dodge? Oh shit, was he... Hands off the girl, amigo. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's it's kind of cringe when, in a 1v1 though, huh? All right, all right. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Um, that wasn't very generous of the game right there. But I guess that's what I get for getting sighted in the first place, huh? It's only three guys this time. Clean them up pretty good. So has anyone seen that new hell of a boss yet? It's the original uh, season one finale. <laughs> okay, okay. Wow, her energy goes fast. Oh, 
All right, we good? All right, we're good to go. Maybe I should look at the map. What am I even doing? Why did I even come down this alley? I guess I kind of panicked. There's guys up here. Like, should I just fight them? Like, are they coming back this way? Yeah, we're about to get cornered. Just up in here. I would like it. Is that so? What are you- why are you saying that, though? Like, I- I feel like there has to be- if you're saying- Hey, just let me get that Mana Sakura card real quick. If you're saying I, I would like it, I feel like it, there's gotta be a catch. Well, I know there is a lot of Luna in it, and I- I have a bit of a furry reputation, so... There's that aspect. I do like Luna. You don't want to spoil it? Okay. Take the long way. Sweet corn the long way. Nice little cut through here. They won't see us from over there, right? We're good? Yeah, okay. Do we have far left to go? Depends on your definition of far. I'm not seeing no enemies on the street, though. Okay, okay. Forest encounter here. Twitter might be spoiled. Well, I've seen that there's... Uh, a spoiler, I guess. Mild. Gluttony. And, and Twitter is mad that she's not... That she's skinny, I guess. <laughs> Twitter always gets mad at Dizzy Pop stuff for it. Oh, the character's skinny. I mean, that's just like... A skinny, like, tall, pointy aesthetic is kind of just like... What the show is going for, so I don't really mind. <laughs> you know? But... Whatever. I wanted to get that card! Damn. No way through here except through these guys. Alright, fine. Line them up, then. All right, let's do it. That's dumb. Voice that opinion. Gay Cat, I need to see you beefing on Twitter now. I'm coming, girl. Stay off my girl. Stay off Makito Kimura, or whatever the hell her name is. Ow! Hey, 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 hey. For real, though. Not chill. Okay. Well, let me get that that the telephone card I saw, though. <laughs> let me get that. Is it over? Are we safe? Right, let me just do this real quick. <laughs> hey, it's Iori! They know what men like. Oh, I did not mean to do this. I guess we're locked into this, though, while the bridge boys do their thing. You don't have enough followers to set anyone off, though? You just gotta go into the replies. You just gotta go into the replies and pick fights with people. Like, if people aren't gonna see your tweets on their own, then you gotta, like, interject. Like, for example, two days ago I told someone that they should have kept the tweet that they made in the drafts. Got like 300 likes on that one. Slam dunked on that probably teenager. 19 year old? <laughs> Maybe she should think twice before uh, before they tweet an opinion that I think is, is dumb. I fucking got him. Can we take the footpath? Shh. 
shit. That way is not happening. Yeah, footpath it is. This way, down the stairs. Eh, stairs might be hard for her. Are we just gonna skip that visual? Yeah, okay. Well, let's make her go. Oh, can't risk no more stairs. I wanted to see what would happen. Most people just like it. Well, that's why you gotta you gotta get get your numbers up. Be as abrasive as possible to as many people as possible. Well, the boys. That's a lot of boys, actually. Crap. Couldn't you have just stayed down? At least the guys we fought earlier. You stay put right there. But it doesn't even seem like they want to kill her. I'm actually, I'm wondering if her dad is in the Yakuza and we're tr they're trying to get her back. And maybe the, the chiropractor guy was just former Yakuza and he was taking care of her. She said that he saved her life, but I don't think she gave like too big a specifics. I don't know. I feel like, you know, she's obviously valuable in s for some reason. This is crazy, man. Hey, back off, man. Oh, Kick your friend in the nuts. Bracha! <laughs> You want a little more? Boop. Ooh, there you go. You get big combos too with that. Is that it? Where are we even taking her? Are we taking to her our apartment? <laughs> What do you mean what she's worth? It, is she the owner of the lot and Kamanchuro or whatever? Hey, we didn't kill that guy, did we? Or did he just pass out? Oh, oh my god. We're fucking up, y'all. We're fucking our whole life up for this girl. Aaron Kuhn ain't got nothing on us. <laughs> Are we sick? We can't be sick. Oh, I feel bad for just getting yanked around, man. <clears throat> she don't even know what's going on. I mean, to be fair, neither do we. Oh my god. Dude, imagine if Majima kills her right now. He won't, right?
心配すんな。やつも逃げた。すぐに会えるはずや。No! Please tell me he's lying to make her feel better. No, don't squint like that, dude. Oh my fucking god. It's gonna cut away right before he does anything, too, so it's gonna be a cliffhanger, isn't it? Self reflection. Bro. I don't think he does it. I don't think he does it. I don't think he does it. So, like... Let's put myself in... Three years ago, me's... Three, four years ago, me's head. That seems like the place I would stop playing, to be honest. Little stoner boy. Cuz... Oh, that's so nice that we get a little refresher course, by the way. Um, the blind thing was the big thing I remember. That was like the big climactic thing I remember. Like, and I remember some of the stuff from Kiryu's Tale too. But I think that might have been, I, I remember Tachibana and me like, look at this. And he turned off all the lights. That's how Kiryu's thing ended. And I remember the blind thing. And that's how Manjima's ended. So I think we're caught up to where I was. <laughs> She's got to tie into this lot, dude. She probably owns it. I say that every time, but... I, I had... Alright, so here... Now that we've seen... Alright, so now that I've seen the blindness thing... I, I've mentioned the blind, the blind girl since episode one i've mentioned the blind girl after epi since episode one and then but i thought it was as kiryu so once we stopped playing as kiryu and we got to majima i was thinking okay maybe i saw it in a youtube video and that's maybe i saw it on youtube and that's why i remembered it but i think that that's really i think we're really caught up now for real this time <laughs> This is my third playthrough? No. This is my second time playing it. And the first time I like got like I, I if I got farther than this it was barely. Now, if the narrator says that Tachibana is guided by Kazuma, then does that mean that he really is? That's the question, right? Like, is the narrator lying to me right now? Or does it simply mean Kiryu is believing her? We're at the batting cage, huh? Oh, what's his what's his name? Nishiki? Yeah. Wait, we work for him. Wow. I don't know. They were like really shady. Yeah, Kiryu's still not sold though. Yeah, 
立花はもう方々から情報を集め出してる立花不動産の情報網を使ってな期待できそうか多分なただ立花が掴んだ Are we not leaking that Cosmos involved? Oh fuck Our prints are out there からの一つの死体から俺の指紋が出てるおいそれじゃお前すぐ殺に手配されちまうんじゃねえかいやそれについちゃ I mean, shit, Tajibana seems to be like a good guy to have on our side at the very least. Even if we're not sure about him. Two or three days left of going to the porn store 20 times a day. さつにも太い米があるってわけだ。そうらしいな。その件についてとりあえず連中に任せるしかねえか。で、お前は今何してんだ。だから不動産屋の仕事だ。フリオステイ。いや、オーライト。Like what really though? So we're gonna be muscle for their like real estate, right? But wait, 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 wait. No, didn't some lo oh, okay? So some locals came in. It was like actually Tachibana is only buying up from the people who aren't locals. There, yeah, they said Tachibana is actually like only stiff hand, like stiff handing, stiff arming. These like predatory real estate people coming in and opening these businesses and trying to drown out small businesses, right? They were like they're leaving the the small businesses alone. They're make they're letting them chill and do their thing, right? Now Oda is gonna be helping us after we beat his ass. Oda really wanted to fight us as a, a bit like I don't know a test initiation. その前に俺のこの服を何とかしなくちゃならなくてよ。服極道丸出しや仕事に何年だと。真っ当な仇に。そうでいっせ。いや。ああ。お前。もしかしてそれで俺のことを呼び出したのか。ゲットゲットリップ
I never saw this shit. <laughs> Can we get into fights with backup? I guess so. We do have terrible taste a little bit. Is Nishiki joining us on the fights? He is. Cool. Am I in beast mode? Get me out of that. Ow! He's out of my range. There we are. There we are. Ooh, ooh! Good hits, good hits. Alright. You can do that until they get stunned. Okay. Oh, is he dead? Oh, he's dead. There we go. <laughs> there we go, the big wind up. Yeah, they're definitely stronger in this new chapter. These guys would have been dead if it was the previous chapter. Like, one of those was laying guys out. One charge punch was laying guys out in rush mode. Like, they took a bunch. So. Let's go, Nishiki. They're dissing my style. I pick shirts with real print, with weird prints. There's a, there's a, I think you should leave reference to be made with this, by the way. Oh, there's no, uh... I was hoping that there would be a... Can I get the words out of my mouth? Items did pick up with beast mode and there wasn't. Alright, let's get him with a broken bike. You get the wheel. <laughs> Just the wheel. Give me a heat move. There we are. What is the I think you should leave reference? Dan Flashers, I think it's called. Yeah, hold them. Hold them for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dan Flashers. The shirts are so expensive because they got all these prints on them. The more complicated the print, the more expensive the shirt. Well, this looks plain. It's boring back here. Alright, let's go fucking shopping, I guess. Oh my god, did you see the colors on that sign? Is, <laughs> is Kiryu trans coded? I mean, Nishiki definitely. Yeah, they are boring. I was gonna say Nishiki has definitely got a, a bit of a wonky uh, print, but I guess he's a gangster. He's allowed to, huh? ただ、これじゃなんていうか。貧乏人っぽく見えるんじゃねえか。なら、お目にぴったりだな。うるせえな。ブロックボーイ。これなんかどうだ。バカ。お目、それ絶対やめとけ。選ぶんじゃないかと
turn around. Look at these absolute planets here. And he like plants his, his hands on his ass cheeks. Has anyone seen this guy? He's on TikTok. I'm not crazy. I'm making it up. He's like, 21 years old. He can consent. It's like, what the hell? And like, you go back like two years on this dude's TikTok. He was like a normal tailor. But now he's just like absolutely unhinged, absurd, because it's it's what gets like, you know, views. Hey, yo. Yo. Yo, I don't know if it fits him. I don't know. Yeah, no, it looks kind of bad. <laughs> Nishiki was setting us up, man. Hey, if you like it, that's what matters, man. え、いいのか全然リーマンっぽくなってねえぞ。小田には服を何とかしろと言われただけだ。やることはやった。文句言われる筋合いはねえさ。You go kill you. そっか。よし、わかった。そこまで言うならそいつは俺のおごりで。ちょうだいの新しい門出だしな。ありゃ。あ。花から俺はお前のおごりのつもりだったよ。Wait, is that for real what he's gonna wear the rest of the game? I guess we'll see. So, I mean, I would get used to it over time, it's just a bit distracting now. So there is a meeting that we're supposed to head to. Obviously, we're going to be hitting... Oda, One Piece? Uh, obviously, we're gonna be hitting all the uh, sub-stories we see first, though. Kuze's on the warpath, huh? <laughs> Short on figures and patience. Damn. Yeah, Nishiki is uh, serious there at the end. Damn. Okay. Damn, even the shoes are white? <laughs> what the hell is this? Uh, I'll definitely hit up the CP shrine, because we got a bunch we could cash in as Kiryu. I'm sure. Definitely got at least a few there as, uh... What's his name? Ooh. Where they at? We definitely got at least a few there as Majima, huh? Not in here? I don't want to fight those guys. Even with the card watcher and the, the contact lenses, it's gonna be hard to find these things. Oh, there it is. It's on a box. It wasn't on the ground. That's why it was hard to see. Micah. I'm looking closer and closer to Bob. Perhaps we'll want to hold on to our CP for this, huh? Since we now work at a real estate agency, it might be, uh, I assume that we're going to be unlocking the real estate royale. So I'll hold on to our CP for now, I guess. Oh my fucking god. Leave me alone. Yo, we actually outran them, though. Let's go. Dude. Yeah, it might be a good investment. Yeah, I'll, I'll hold off. Because I assume that's probably... You mentioned that there was a, a way to make good money that we would unlock later. That probably is it, huh? Yeah, business unlock soon. 
Yeah. Okay, so... And once we unlock the business... Uh, oh, wow, we got a lot of goodies in here. Once we unlock the business, th then we'll be able to... What is it? Business will uh, also unlock freaking, uh, the Maharaja quest uh, with Miracle Johnson. And it's also going to unlock the... Uh, what is it? The Bowling Alley quest that we could not finish. Cubes money making is a good passive one. Okay. Well, that was great today, you guys. We finished up Majima. And to my knowledge, we only missed one sub story in there. Granted, we didn't max out our friendship with that one restaurant guy, but like, eh, we'll get that over time. So this was, it was a good stream today. Pretty productive. I'm glad with it. I'm happy with it. I'm glad. Uh, it's I don't know. I really actually liked playing as Majima. I'm I'm kind of oh I guess Kiryu is gonna keep that he's wearing it on the uh he's wearing that on the the screen there <laughs> he's wearing it on the title screen I never noticed before I end and you'll remind me next time uh oh let's hear it something big huh the miracle at Maharaja quest yes. Really curious where we pick up with Majima. I guess we'll find out in like three weeks, dude. Maybe two. The black box has the encounter finder. So you probably want the black box. But I mean, encounter finder like isn't even that useful, right? I guess it's like a pretty unique item. It's good for like if you want to grind out Mr. What's-His-Face, right? Mr. Uh, Shakedown. Good for that. Tells you where Shakedown is? Yeah, I guess that's the value, huh? Okay, black box. I'll try and remember. That is very valuable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Alright, good stream. Yeah, I can't wait to, to pick up with Majima. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, like, we could streamline. I don't know. Well, I'll, I'll talk it over with you guys when we pick up next stream. We could 100% like streamline story and then do sub stories towards the end of the game. We can do that. I've just been kind of doing it like as we go along, doing all the sub stories as we find them, but we can do that. I'll ask you guys. That's like up to y'all. I'm down for either. You know? Personally, you don't care? I'll do it kind of like we did it today. Like today, I was kind of over, I was passing over some stuff because I was really invested in the story, so I wanted to get to it. You know, we we're, we started over fresh here with uh, Kiryu, you know, so I'm not like, okay, we're working at Tachibana. I'm kind of curious about that, but like, I'm not like dying. I'm not chomping at the bit to, you know, get into that. So I'll I'll take it slow and do a bunch of sub stories as we, as we're moving on with that. And then, you know, if, if I really get gripped, like I was there with Majima, then I'll, uh, then I'll lean heavier into the story there. You know, I'll be sending some time with business stuff. Is that like boring? The business stuff? That sounds like it might be boring. Is that boring? <laughs> might be boring. <laughs> <sighs> you business stuff? Yeah, that sounds lame. Honestly. Oh boy, real estate. Show me the, the guns, dude. We're the, the handicapped people I can assassinate. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Majima's business is more fun. I'll see when we get to it, probably. Probably opens up when we get to him, too. Alright. Thank you guys for hanging. So wait, Ark, is business stuff what I should I could do off stream to grind money if I so wished? It said it said Kiryu's is like kinda of passive. Well, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out when we get into it. I'll see. All right. So Wednesday, Zelda. What did I want to do with Zelda? Oh, man. I wanted to go to Terrytown on Wednesday, and I wanted to do something else. I don't remember. <laughs> oh, yeah. I wanted to finish up exploring the Great Plateau and then go to Terrytown. 
And then next Saturday will probably be the finale for Katamari. We love Katamari. And then Sunday, more Yakuza. You can message me, bet. Appreciate it, Ark. All right, peace, you guys. Thanks for hanging with me. It was great to have a nice, full uh, Yakuza stream again. Five hours of Yakuza fun. Awesome. After these pipsqueak streams the past couple weeks, man. I'm glad for it. Peace. Y'all have a good week.